Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got another werewolf game for you today. Today's video, I was trying to test the a new role I made, the Undertaker, but it turned out to be, you know, the priest in the Leprechaun show. So you'll see why early on in the game. But uh, it came down to the last three people, so it was a fairly long game. So strap in and prepare yourself. But it's a really great game. So hope everybody enjoys it. Until next time, peace. I'm gonna go with the roles that's possible in the game for everybody watching on YouTube. Uh, like I said, I'll get to the Undertaker and Paul Bear role at the end. So the first off, the cursed and lichens, they may not know they are liking or cursed. Who knows? Uh, so the villagers, you have the villagers have no special power. The seer wakes up at night and checks to see if somebody's a werewolf or not. They either get a thumbs up for a werewolf or not a werewolf. Uh, bodyguard can wake up each night and protect somebody, but in this game, um, I want I just do the regular bodyguard. Sometimes that confuse people, so they can't say the same person two times in a row. Uh, we have the leprechaun might be in the game. Uh, whoever the whoever was target leprechaun can move from one seat to the other, which is why I got some rules in here and it might might need numbers. Uh, can change to the left or right. He cannot take it off himself. I'm um, using the old hag in like my last game. The old hag, if if she's in the game, will be uh, a super old hag, which means they're first on the call order. So whoever they take out, they take out for that night. And if they have any special powers or anything, they're not using their special power. And if the werewolves target them, the werewolves do not get a kill. It's almost like a second bodyguard in some cases. Uh, so another possibility is the tough guy. Uh, tough guy uh, survives an extra day. So if the werewolf was targeting at night, um, he won't die till the next night. Get the diseased villager, not diseased, diseased villager. So the werewolves killed the diseased villager. They don't, werewolves do not get a kill the next night. Uh, beholder and learns who the seer is the first night. Uh, the priest, uh, if they not already protecting a, a live player, they choose another permanent player to protect from, wait, that's not really right. Uh, so the priest will ha have the ability to give somebody an extra life from any elimination once per game. Uh, if the prin prince is in the game, he has two lives during the day. That means he'll survive his first lynching. And then if, if he goes up again, he'll, he'll die on that one. If the private PI is in the game, he learn checks three people that sit by side each other, and he'll learn if they're a werewolf or not. Any of those three people. The doppelganger waits up the first night and chooses somebody, and he inherits. Their, he'll take their role if they die. The count, if he's in the game, he waits up the first night. I tell him how many people's on each side of the village. Can I jump in? What is considered a side of a village? Is it like numbers one to eight and nine to seventeen or something like that? Or well, it initially was twenty people. So like, if I had twenty people in the game, he'll learn the first ten and the last ten how many wolves are in it. If he's in the game, yeah, Connor, you can jump in. You'll be eighteen. Uh. So with the private investigator, that's once per like every night, not once per game, like one it usually is. Once per game. Oh, okay. So if you say Chet Strawberry, he'll learn if Andreas, Strawberry, or Grandma are werewolves if he's in the game. Uh, I'll, Paul Bear is also on the village team. I'll wait to the end for him so I can, because he's part of the roles I um, made. Uh, so now for the werewolves, what's possible in the game? Of course, you have the regular werewolves that have no special powers, the Wolverine. If the Wolverine's in the game and at night, if he's closest to the target, you'll hear this sound. He's a werewolf on the werewolf team. You have the Wolfman, which is when you see your chat, someone looks like a villager. You have the Dire Wolf. First night chooses a player. If he's bonded to the player, that player, if that player dies, the Dire Wolf dies too. But if the Dire Wolf dies, nothing happens to the player. The Lone Wolf, he's the last 
remaining. He wants to be the last person in the game. Uh, but he's a werewolf. Waits up the werewolves. You have the tough wolf that has two lives. So he's killed during the day. He stays alive. And then you have to kill him twice, basically. Uh, the sorceress. Uh, Chet sees, waits up each night. Chet sees if somebody's a seer. You have the alpha wolf. If a wolf dies, the alpha wolf turns another turns the next target into a wolf. He gets to do that once per game. Werewolf hunter chooses somebody else to die as well as they die. And you have the wolf cub. If the wolf cub dies during the day, you get two kills at night. And I'm going to write down Connor since he's playing now. Cool. Any questions? Nope, super straightforward. All right. Now, oh, yeah, let me go over the special roles. First off, Paul Bear is on the team. Now, here's the thing about Paul Bear. As long as Paul Bear is alive and he has not turned the Undertaker, the Undertaker cannot be killed no matter what. That's, that's kind of why I have him here where he can't come out. So, yes, he, he can't even hint that he can't come out because that gives his role away. But his reward for not coming out is he's finding the Undertaker. If he finds the Undertaker, he converts the Undertaker to the village team. The Undertaker starts out on his own team. Each night, he chooses a player and takes their soul. He doesn't kill the player, he just takes their soul. At any point, the player, they, he, they, if he took their soul and that player dies, say, say he took the Seer's soul. If he took the seer's soul and the seer died, he becomes the new seer. Same thing for any other special role that has any kind of powers. Um, if he's converted to the... If, if Paul Bear finds him, he converts him to the village team. He then can be killed and he stops taking souls. And he keeps whatever abilities that he already gained while taking souls. When he's on his own team. If any point Paul Bear comes out as Paul Bear, the Undertaker wins by himself. That's why Paul Bear can't come out. Uh, and also, the Undertaker's last on the call roll, so because he'll learn who dies, he'll keep that no matter what team he's on. Uh, in his win condition, if he if he never gets converted over to the village team, his win condition is anybody still in the game and he has their uh, soul, he wins. Kind of like kind of like uh, the cult leader in that aspect. So whoever is still alive, he has their soul, he wins. If he's not on the village team, so he gets the kill from the werewolf whenever he picks one. But the werewolf doesn't have to die first. Yeah, so if he uh, takes the soul of the werewolf, he doesn't kill the werewolf. He just gets a kill the next night. Okay. And he only gets one kill for each soul he takes of a werewolf. He could kill that werewolf that he took the soul of the previous night if he wanted to. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. But if he's the Undertaker and he's trying to take everybody's soul, he might want to kill somebody he hasn't taken the soul of. I don't know. That all so whenever anyone dies, like gets lynched during the day or gets killed at night, are you not going to save them on the village or the werewolf team then? Not at night, no. Not at night, but if they get lynched during the day, you are? Yes. I'll tell you okay. if, which team they're on. But the Undertaker will yeah. know there's that role. Can the Undertaker come out and pretend to be on either team, his own or village? All depends on what the Undertaker is trying to do. He's trying to win by himself. I wouldn't come out. But he's allowed to. He's, al he's allowed to. Just depends. It's more like how the how does the Undertaker want to win, basically. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple of questions about the Undertaker role. Does the Undertaker need to be alive to win? Yes. And if he's winning by himself. They, if they take Paul Bearer's soul, can they convert themselves to the village team? No. Paul Bear has to find him to convert him to the village team. So basically, he's like a weak version of Frankenstein if Paul Bear can turn him. 
Will the person know if their soul's been taken? No. Nope. Will that mean two characters have the same power? Will it be two takes a seer's soul? Does that mean two people now have seer's power? Or just no, the, the <laughs> person, if he takes the seer's soul, he has their soul, but if the seer dies, he takes ah. their power. Gotcha. The person has to die for him to get the power. Okay. How does that work with the doppelganger? I'm just wondering, like, if if the um, if the soul is taken of the doppelganger, and the doppelganger has someone else's power, does that then go to the undertaker? Yes. Yeah. And the, okay. Whoever, All right. Yeah, but if he takes the uh, top, yeah, I'll, I'll let it happen. So whoever doppelganger, if the doppelganger is in the game, chooses somebody, whoever they chose. Die or dies, they get their power. Then yes, the Undertaker would get the power. But it could lead to a situation where the doppelganger and the Undertaker both look at the Seer. When the Seer dies, now both the doppelganger and the Undertaker think they have the Seer's power. Are they both correct? Uh, I mean, if that if, for that in, instance, for that instance, I will message the Undertaker just to make sure they know they are now that role. So that'll prevent that from happening. So if when the Undertaker takes a soul, like say they take the Seer's soul, you're not going to say that they took the Seer's soul until that person dies, and then you'll say that person was the Seer? Well, at the end of the night, he's the last one to go, and I'll let him know who... So like he'll, he'll learn who died during the day and who lied, died during the night. I won't specify which when they died. If the Doctor Ganger chooses the Undertaker or the Paul Bear, does that mean there's potentially two of them? Two. Yeah, I mean, if it, whoever you choose when they die, he takes the doppelganger would take over that role. Right. Would you get the powers as well? That they had the. They no, had, they that, that'd be the unfortunate thing. If the, if doppelganger is in the game, they choose Undertaker. And Undertaker eventually dies. <laughs> Guess what? The Undertaker starting over. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing either three dominations or the timer as usual. Uh, defense is going to be two minutes. The first minute is your defense, and the uh, second minute is if you want to ask any questions to the person, like the last game. Forgot, I wanted to go over that too. Uh, somebody asked me a question real quick. Let me answer it. Somebody asked about their role. Alrighty. All right, now everybody can go to sleep. All right, for the first night, as usual, the meet and greet for all my wolves, all my furry fur balls. Wake on up, meet, meet each other, say hi. All righty, I'll go back to sleep. Undertaker, Undertaker, wake on up, Undertaker. You get to at first night, so who's your first soul you want to take? Of course, nobody's died tonight or died yet, so you won't get any of that. And just like that, Paul Bear, wake on up. Do you want to try to fight an Undertaker tonight? Go to sleep. All right. The, nobody's died last night. The day is yours. Does that mean there's no dire wolf? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. All right. No, remember, nice. remember if they had, if they only did something the first day, I will send them a message. And they have to respond and all that. So like the uh, uh, okay. yeah. If there's a private investigator, they should use their ability early and then come out. We we all awesome prefer. I mean that was a very short night not I know it just we yeah, stuff, but the game did have a warning of long nights at the top. 
Well, so to be to be transparent with that, the warning about long nights is auto-generated based on the number of roles that say each night in them. So there's a whole bunch of roles that may not be in the game. But uh, I, w I was thinking the same thing for count. Like, there probably isn't a count, but if there was, it makes sense for them to come out immediately, basically. Yeah. Um, probably no count, yeah. Never see you either. I mean, I mean, he said I he sent cool stuff on messages, so the count would have got a message rather than people. Yeah. yeah. Is there a, a reason we don't want the count to come out on the first night? So if you pick randomly, we at least have like a higher chance, given what half of the village we choose. Yeah. To catch something right. <clears throat> I think the count should come out probably. Well, should come out yeah. early. They're not going to get any more information, so they might as well. It would help. Yeah. And it I tells us which half of the out. village to concentrate on first. <clears throat> exactly. The fact they're not coming out makes it sound like that um, they're not in the game or else. Because there's no reason to not come out like you guys are saying. So I'm going to say they're probably not in the game if they're not coming out by now. That means a werewolf just missed an opportunity to bluff it. Not everybody wants to come out, even even if the group thinks they should. So I wouldn't. I'm not ready to 100% say it's not in the game. But I mean, I guess the person might think, oh, if I come out, the werewolves are just going to kill me, and they just don't want to die early. I don't know. Better oh, to um, kill but, someone but with the a wasted way around, power than a seer or bodyguard. The werewolves, the werewolves would want to kill somebody more valuable than a used up cow. Yeah. 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 And for the way just to good because it gives us so much more information than we usually get on the first day. Yeah, and if you wait till we're down to six players and say you're the count, good luck getting anyone to believe you. <laughs> okay, if that's not in the game, then we're <laughs> where we usually are, knowing nothing. I do agree with the idea that the PI should use their power sooner than later. Um, like what Josh was saying, though. I didn't hear Jugan um, mention the mentalist, but is, is the mentalist an option that could come in the game? I might have missed it. I don't think so. It, it's on Graham's list, but Jugan didn't mention it. He also did mention the mayor, right? So they might not be possibilities. Yeah, Jugan, Jugan, is that right? What? Is Because uh, you didn't mention the mentalist may be a, a possibility in the game, so does that mean they're not in the game? Did I skip over them in the roles? Yeah, yeah. you skip mentalist and mayor. Okay, yeah, they're a possibility. If they're on Graham's list, they're a possibility. So yeah, wow. YouTube, there's also Mentalist and Mayor possibly in the game. With the old hag work on the first night. Mm -hmm. Not the first night, no. Okay. The mayor will find out as soon as we have a vote anyway. If yeah. that will you give us the count when we vote? Or will you just say who won the vote? So will you tell us it was sort of 10 votes to 9, or will you just say that's I'll, enough I'll or that's you, not enough? Usually I do it, I tell you how many you need to kill, and then I count up to that. It's usually how I do it. So we won't know if there's a count until we get a tight vote. Me. That's not what the count does. Me means mayor. Me means mayor. Me mayor. <laughs> Yeah, so I probably told you all I'm not the mayor. <laughs> oh, he's bluffing. <laughs> Zelia. <laughs> okay, someone say something more helpful before I start with Princess Diaries reference here. <laughs> Kick him before he starts quick. <laughs> How is it that neither Alex Daly, Blake, or Connor have not said a word and we have spent over five minutes now? I How don't... is that possible? Well, I've got a bone to pick with this Undertaker and he better come out. He better <laughs> show up in the ring on Friday Night Smackdown unless he fears this 16-inch pythons as Hulkamania's running wild, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker versus Paul Bearer tonight. <laughs> now, to clarify, Paul Bearer was his manager when Undertaker first came out. So. Yeah. 
True. And I'm that's why I'm I forgot to do my intro. That's why I'm Kane. I'm sending you out to find a figure. My God, it's Kane. <laughs> it's gotta be Kane. <laughs> Just seems that there are so many roles. And we have no idea if if Jugen is just messing with us and there's like three in play or something like that. There's only one. Yeah. Jugen, yeah. Like that, but yeah, he would. This is Jugen. How certain are we that we have a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> you never I know. You an undertaker in the game. No, <laughs> it's Undertaker, that's it. <laughs> no other roles. I'm willing to bet, given the, the name of the game and the effort that went into it, that Paul Bearer and The Undertaker are both in the game. But That's, that's, that's the only goal that are in the game. Yeah. Everyone else is just not in oh, the game. Those two are for sure in the game. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three minutes left, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to nominate Connor because he's either really helpful to the village or I at least want to hear him say something. Oh, Connor's doing a thing. I got one for Connor. Five second. All right, I got a second. <coughs> All righty. All right, so person who nominated first, give your reasoning, and whoever second, give your reasoning. I muted everybody, so you have to unmute yourself first. He's either going to be helpful to the village, he's doing a thing, or, you know, he's not said a word. That makes me suspicious of him. All right, who's yeah, second it? I second. No, I agree. I just want to hear him talk because he's usually like very helpful. So. Okay. All right. Meet yourselves. Connor, defend yourself. The first minute shares and then second minutes for questioning. Yeah, I thought I'd try something new and let everyone else talk. I've been told that, you know, you guys are afraid of the aggressive players. And so I figured I'll just not be aggressive and see how this goes. Um, I'm kind of glad that like we don't have a Daniel, a Joseph, or a Gil in this game. So I'm going to sit back and, and, and listen for a little bit until I have something to say. I'm going to let you guys talk and discuss. Are you opening it for questions now? Sure. If anyone has questions. Everybody can ask questions. Don't make it a madhouse, though. So you're saying you don't have any thoughts yet in general? I, I have thoughts, but I let, I'm going to let you guys have your thoughts and say what you guys want to say. When did you decide you wanted to play this game a bit quieter? Uh, a couple of games ago, I think. I actually said that if I would would do this to people, that I would be nominated very quickly. And look what happened. <laughs> that was going to be my question. <laughs> yeah, if you, you didn't get the idea when you stole werewolves on your message. No, I did not get the idea for my role. It was did decided you... pre-game. He's too quiet for a werewolf. He's not throwing any werewolves under the bus. He's, he talked about this like two games ago, yeah. For for your defense, sir, I might have missed it, but did you actually say you were on the village team? No, I mean, sure. I can, <laughs> for this Yo, you're not? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Any more questions? If not, we go straight into uh, voting. No more questions? All right, I guess we'll go straight into voting. I should have did math first. So we got 18 people. We need 10 to kill. The usual up to save, down to kill. Three, two, one. Uh, it's only four down. Connor, you're still alive. I'm going to say I voted down just to get some counts on votes. I thought it was pretty safe that we wouldn't kill Connor on the very first vote of the first day. I was trying to get some counts. I just did it to mess with him. <laughs> we didn't get a number of how, many, how many votes were up, so I don't know if the mayor is in four bills. Yeah. So thirteen up. That's seventeen votes. Yeah, so what rolled in the gates of vote? Oh, uh, fourteen up. Sorry. Fourteen up. 
Okay. <laughs> so no man. Yeah. No. So who yeah. were the four down though? Do I had Sean, Alex, Flick? Grow. And grow. And grow. And grow and Flick thought he's genuinely evil. No, but uh, I just thought it was uh, a very very cheap defense. Um. So after I left the game last night, I didn't watch, but I did listen on Discord just because I figured we focus a lot on verbal cues. So I've been listening. And when we asked if he was in a village team, he instantly said no. And I noticed that in the game yesterday, there were a lot of people doing verbal slips and other people weren't picking them up, but they did pick them up with certain people, but they didn't pick them up generally. And I picked that up. So um, that's a red flag to me. That's all. I'm confused. I slipped. When we said, are you on the village team? You instantly said no. And then you tried to sort of laugh it off and change it. No, I didn't say no. I said, so I'll stick to tradition and I'll say I'm on the village team. I said, no, yeah. it doesn't really matter what I say. Yeah, I believe the question that he was asked was something like, did you say that you were on the village yes, team? That's yeah. Asking. yeah. And then he said no. And then he said, well, yes. It wasn't are you on the village team? It was, did you say? It's still a no in my books. It's still a red flag. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just pointing it out. Connor's playing. Of course, he's a red flag. <laughs> 30 seconds, y'all. Man, I don't have any reads. Like, would you not agree it's fair to say that you might not be on the village team? I do know that I am on the village team. I know what role I am. I don't feel comfortable in the village yes no. role. Um, but I think Connor's probably a werewolf. Okay. I nominate Adam F. Just because we're running out of time. Awesome. This would be your only nomination, though. Because we're running out of time. So, uh, Blake, did I get a second for Adam? Oh, oh yeah. I feel like his first game back, guys. I, I might be. I didn't think that was going to be our last nomination, but. Huh. All righty. Uh, what's your reasoning, Blake? Uh, I mean, it was just throwing something out there. And just really quickly to stick up for Connor, um, we did have a game where it, it was very thrown at us that we're talking too much and other people don't feel like they can just jump in. So um, that's why I haven't been talking. At MS, I, I don't know. I'm just literally throwing out a name i thought we had we would have a few more seconds to um pick somebody else but the clock was about to run out while flick was saying her thing so and your reasoning josh um again just because i w didn't think it was going to be our last nomination of the day but adam is always quiet but he's particularly quiet uh, i feel like he could have spoken up a little bit by now um and um yeah i want i want to hear people talk so all right. All right. Muted everybody. All right. Your defense, Adam. Well, I'm a brand new player. I've it's an honor. I've been watching videos of you guys for a while. It's an honor to play with you all. So I would hope you wouldn't kill a new player on day one. I am a villager. I I don't think among the possible roles there's like a sasquatch or something that allows a double kill for the wolves so if you're a village player you should not kill me if you're a werewolf then you should kill me because i'm a villager so if you vote down in my book you're a werewolf hmm. that's pretty much like i said first game nice to meet y'all hopefully i last a little bit longer all right, you can open up for questions now. If we yes, don't kill, we sense. give a bit more time to the Undertaker to collect potentially the seer and stuff, right? The soul. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we shouldn't. Adam, do you think, this is a question directed to you, but mostly mm -hmm. for the purpose, but do you think we should kill almost every night so that we can find the Undertaker? Because the werewolves can't kill the Undertaker and then whenever the pallbearer wants to figure out when the under when to turn the undertaker they can pick them because the undertaker won't die during the votes correct long as pallbearer is alive he will not die 
by no matter way. So Adam, what do you think about that? I mean, I think killing during the day and pot potentially killing Paul Bearer would make the Undertaker uh, target for the Wolves. But as long as Paul Bearer is alive, if we don't have a good suspicion, I'm all about not killing, especially if it's just like, oh, time's almost up. Let's just nominate someone randomly like what happened to me. So I would say no, unless we have a very good suspicion. All right, that's all the time. Court is adjourned. It's time to kill, or not kill, a vote on of Adam's life, and we still need 10 to kill. So three, two, one. That's only three down. Adam is still alive. Thanks. If anybody needs to send me a message, send it now if you want to use your power tonight. If it's a one time activation. So, anybody wants to send it, I'll give you a little bit of a second to do it. Alrighty. Everybody go to sleep. All right, let me get my super hag. Actually, everybody go back to sleep. Yeah, I missed it. So super hag, go ahead. Who you want to send out of the village? If they have a power, they would not be here tonight and they would not use their power. And you can send that yourself. You just can't send the same person out two nights in a row. The girl had to go to sleep. My werewolves, my werewolves, who do you want to target tonight? Y'all have to come to consistence, wolves. Alrighty. Paul Bear, wake on up. Actually, hold on. Paul Bear, go back to sleep. I need to do something. Leprechaun, 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 wake on up. This person was targeted. Do you want to move the target? You want to move it to the left or the right or you want to keep it? Keep it. Okay. Wait, Leprechaun, wake on up. Did you want to move it? Make it Leprechaun, go to sleep. Paul Bear, wake on up. Paul Bear. All right, Masia, Masia, wake on up. 
Who you want to look at? You can see her go to sleep. A sorceress. A sorceress. And Undertaker, wake on up. This role has died in the night. So who's your next soul you want to take? Thank you, Undertaker. And go to sleep. Y'all wake up in the night, Chris. You hear screams coming from your neighbor, Adam. You walk over and you find that he's been ripped to shreds. Thank you, Adam, for playing. To say the wolves are very mean. Adam's back from his vacation, and y'all want to okay. kill him. Killing a new player like that. <laughs> <clears throat> they did the same to Ayahu yesterday. They had a good streak. Oh well, you see, it's fresh meat, so. <laughs> So, so I guess we've got um, a leprechaun instead of a like, bodyguard. Yeah, I, one thing, all Jugans messing with us. Possible. Sorceress. Uh, I, I mean, Bag, leprechaun, seeker. And sorceress. Yeah, so then. Um, the one thing I would say to the leprechaun is it probably makes sense to move the target every time because werewolves can't target themselves. And if you create the chance, a 50-50 chance that they're going to kill one of their own, then it really restricts who they can target. So if, if it's always expected that the leprechaun's going to move it, unless it's, unless like one of them is somebody who's already come out and you don't want to like, it, it think seems, always makes last, sense. To I think last time the leprechaun, if they moved it to a werewolf, it was just considered a no kill because the werewolves can't kill werewolves at night, but you can yeah, confirm yeah. that. That's a good rules question. Does anybody well, have any suggestions of what Adam might have been? Uh, if the leprechaun moves it to a werewolf, does a werewolf die or is it treated as a no kill? No kill. Yeah. Also, got another question about that move. So, so, so say like it was um, Chris that was targeted. Uh, if it moved to the left, would it go all the way to Connor, or could it not go further left than Chris? It would go left Good. or right. Just one yeah, no, spot. It wraps, around. Yeah, but it wraps around. It wraps around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, do we think the leprechaun did that already, or do we think Adam was the target target? Um, because when we say like, it was like just bag, maybe the wolves wouldn't have killed him, but they went for like Connor or Chris. Yeah, Connor Connor just because Chris they would. woke back up and he asked if they wanted to move it that they they wanted to move it. Uh, it's a little meta, but I would just have. From what I pieced together of the exchange, he said keep. Then the. Leprechaun went to sleep, then he woke them back up, and then it was a very quick, do you want to change it? At which I assume they shook their head no, and they went back to sleep, because the other, if they said yes, then they would have had to indicate which direction. So I, would have mad, I would have imagined that they, that it was a mistake on Jugan's part, that they wanted to switch it, but then he said keep, and they were like, like, yeah. freaking out. Me. But that's just how it went in my head. Yours is equally valid. Or we don't even have the Leprechaun. <laughs> that would be a pretty, pretty funny move. I mean, this is you. No. We, we have seen it before. Killing instead of wolves with dice. <laughs> Maybe he's not even using a dice. Maybe he's just going to pick us off a numerical order. <laughs> <laughs> that means Connor's safe then. 
<laughs> I think we proceed with the roles that we heard during the night, assuming that they're in the game, and if we get yeah. information that changes yeah. that, then. Yeah, I'm assuming no yeah. PI or count wants to come out or anything like that. I'm assuming there's no PI because you would have to wake them up to do their activity. No, they, 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 they can choose what they can choose. Yeah. yeah they can choose so, remember, what I, remember what I said about one time abilities? They have to let me know before they go to sleep at night if they want to uh, use it that okay. night. I missed that part. That makes sense. So they get a message back, but the PI would come out if they'd done that. So the old hag didn't use the power either? Or they sent someone who didn't have an ability. Oh, right. Well, yeah, but nobody left this morning. Yeah. So. There was no bodyguard that woke up. That's not a one-time ability. No. Yeah, there's no bodyguard. I think there's a little, it's the leprechaun instead of the bodyguard. But also. Uh, I mean, we shouldn't gloss over that, uh, Jugan. The the old hag acts first, and nobody left this morning. So nobody was sent out of the village, meaning no hag. Unless they have the option to not. No, no, no. They have the option, don't they? It didn't say that in the, in the role. Right. Do you get to do is it a choice or a do choice. they always okay I, I don't i don't think Jugan would say that a role because it's confusing as it is because we don't know what roles are in the game i don't think he'd just kind of like start saying random roles wake up at night or whatever like that and they're not in the game i don't think he would do that anyway y'all look i gave y'all roles at all i wasn't gonna give anything <laughs> <laughs> um, what I would say, he but are the old hag. You don't need to send someone out every night, but you probably do need to send someone out one night to let everyone know your roles in the game. Otherwise, yeah, I think when it's a bit awful awful you tell us you're the old hag, them. don't expect us to believe you. Uh, uh, like, I'm not the old hag, but if I were, I can't imagine a scenario where I wouldn't have used it last night. Yeah, I think it's yeah. always a good good thing to use it because you you might actually save someone, and you might actually obviously stop. Like I don't know, like the Undertaker using his power or whatever it might be. Could be a player. Well, give, give everyone the information that that rolls around. Yeah, that's the bigger thing, in my opinion, is just knowing that that role exists. And it's also just a bit of fun, so why shouldn't they do it? Mm. I'm interested in what Connor asked Adam yesterday of whether we should be killing every night. Yeah, I, I'm on the side of killing every single night, unless that person's the you know, a good role. I think I'm going to vote down until I'm confident that person's good, just because I think it's important for us to find the undertaker. Cause obviously if that person doesn't die from our vote, we you know, they're the undertaker, right? That's the only one that can There's just die. Three different Prince. things. Right? <clears throat> Prince, <throat> tough wolf, or what was yeah. the one? Tough wolf or Prince. Oh, or... No. There's a Prince in the game. I didn't hear him say that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just think it still narrows it down, right? It narrows it down. That's what I'm saying. It narrows it down for the pallbearer to then go and choose that person. Like, if the Undertaker is playing, I want to win by myself. That's how they're going to play. If they want to eventually help the village, they're going to say, I'm the Undertaker, and then the pallbearer can get them. Mm. So, I'm again, I think I'm going to vote down pretty much most of the votes unless I'm confident a person's good. You give us a lot of information because there's a lot of roles in the game that don't die, too. Yeah. Who, uh, who, who, vote, who, who voted down on Adam? There's three people Elliot, Alex, and I didn't, I didn't, get, I Connor. didn't get a last one. Connor. Yeah, Alex, Connor, Elliot. Yeah, I'm, I mean, a lot of you know my f theories on, on werewolf. If you don't kill the werewolf, you a 100% of the killing. If you do kill, it's 50 50. And Adam didn't seem to suggest that he had any kind of role to me. I mean, it was the last vote. Yeah. Was... I thought maybe he did. He did this he didn't kind of want to come thing, out. which was he, fun. He, he knew it was the um, though the last vote. He didn't even hint at a role. If it's a really unimportant role like the mayor, then big deal. If he was something like the the seal or the bodyguard, he would have given some. He was that wouldn't have been his defence. And in my experience, the most common defence used by werewolves is I'm an ordinary villager. I think he was Rob because he's in Jurgen saying uh, this is the role that died. But that's his message. You'd say that even if it was just normal village, you'd done. It seems like Bilger a weird role. role. I thought he was pretty suspicious after that, but I don't know. I liked his defense. I, do. I felt bad trying to kill a new player the first day. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's not that's not fair, is it? 
in, in his dying wish, when Adam did say, like, whoever votes down, uh, he said that they will be werewolves. Yep. I have no problem picking one of them. Yep. <laughs> Hear more from. Well, I've uh, I live at night, so I'll just I'll just come out with what my suspicions and everything. Um, so my first thought, and I Graham, I don't know, you know, I know he explained his. So my first thought was Adam's death, um, and Graham was quick to say that the leprechaun must not have used his power, which if you were a werewolf, you would have known that. And I know that you, you gave your reason for the meta of Jugen um, doing the whatever, but my first immediate thought was if you're a werewolf, you would know that Adam S was targeted. Whereas my first thought was maybe Connor was targeted and they moved it to Adam. So that was my suspicion of Graham. But if I'm meta-ing an Adam kill, I would say um, Sean or Paul. That's it. think I would kill Adam? I do. Oh. I also think Paul would, but that's it. Nothing major. I, I mean, e even if, uh, so um, I didn't know who they targeted, but my point is like, if I were a werewolf, I wouldn't want to instruct the leprechaun on how to mess with the werewolves. But my entire point was moot anyway, because it's a non-kill if, if they move it to a werewolf, so. No, no, I got the defense, I was just. Your, your point still applies because if yeah. you move to a werewolf and a non-kill, then the leprechaun knows a werewolf or has at least very good suspicions of one and it's one less person dead. Sure. Yeah. It's actually you know, it's actually quite risky for a werewolf to actually target a play that's near another werewolf. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts, Ned? Do I have any thoughts? I think uh, Blake makes a great argument. He made that was a good point. I was listening to He's like, yeah. Why would you just assume that that was his target. I mean, I didn't assume. I listened very carefully to the discussion that happened at night and the fact that Jugan had to wake him back up, but right. we don't waste more time with it. Okay. Yeah, I actually had the same, I thought the same thing, honestly, as, as what Graham did. When we woke up in the morning, I didn't want to talk about it because it seems kind of a cheap thing to try to get cues from the moderator, but um, yeah, I, I was assuming the leprechaun didn't move the target. That, that's what I took from it. So that, to me, isn't suspicious that Graham would say it, but at the risk of defending the world. Really, you sort of have to pick up on just little things like that. Okay. I have nothing else to grasp. And I was actually kind of surprised that Josh said that Adam talks more. He thought he was unusually quiet. No, he is usually quiet. Stay I wanted quiet. to hear him speak. Oh, okay. I've I've not, said you were... I mean, he's been on vacation. I, I mean, I want to hear his thoughts as he's getting back into all of this. Uh, I want someone to nominate Sean. I feel like I did a lot of nominating and seconding last, last round, so. Why? Because I... I was slightly suspicious of him before Blake said, uh, called him out, and um, then trying to point back towards me right there was even more so. But I recognize I, I was being a bit aggressive the first round, so. Um, be before we do that, I'm just um, looking like over my roll notes and stuff, um, and Jugan said that the cursed might know that they're cursed at the beginning of the game. So if you know that, um, don't want to be turned. I think you should come out with that, so we can kill you. But didn't he say that uh, that that we didn't know if we were cursed? May or may not. May or may not. May, may or may not. Okay. So if you know you're cursed, then you should come out, so we can pick you off before the boils do. It's good for ethical logic, but I've never seen a curse to come out. I mean, nat naturally, you, if you're just a, you just want to play longer in the game, don't you? You don't want to sacrifice yourself. Yeah. Well, it depends. If the curse needs to be some point in the game, and they won't come out. I'm just waiting for the Undertaker to become cursed. <laughs> so that'll be Joseph's, jo Joseph's version. <laughs> Right, so Josh, just need to clarify my uh, 
I wasn't asking because I was suspicious of you. I was asking for you to clarify your reasoning for that. Because what I heard you say was Adam usually talks more on the first day. And I was like, I have never actually seen that from Adam. He doesn't talk on like the eighth day. So that that's that's why I was asking what you were suspicious of. If you were just trying to get him to talk, if you really thought it was odd that he was quiet. One minute fifty. Class, do you have anything? If you want him to hear and speak, nominate him. Okay, I'll nominate Belash. I got one for Belash. I'll, I'll second just because he never talks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, what's your reasoning? Because I want to hear him talk. Okay. I don't actually think he's that suspicious, but he just haven't said anything. All right, Gary, what's your reasoning? Same? Same, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> I have my woman. Alrighty. Going to defend yourself, Blas. Okay, so I don't want to be the next following Adam who is not talking but dies the next day. Uh, I'm on the village team. And uh, I share Blake's suspicion on Paul. I don't know why. And uh, basically, that's my defense. That I'm 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 a villager. So if you have any questions, feel free. So you you so have suspicious, suspicious of Paul, but you don't have a reason why. Uh, I was suspicious on the very first games that I have. I don't know, quick eyes moving back and forth, and Paul did the same during this first two days. Uh, I don't think that's it, but uh, but uh, maybe it's just me want to hear him talk a little bit. I don't know. But but I share it, this suspicion. Do you think I haven't been talking enough? Mm, I won't say that because I thought I, I was going to get nominated for talking. No, I I did the same. I was sitting here silently, so I I won't base oh. my suspicion on this. No, I thought I was going to get nominated for talking too much. Actually, this game so far. Lodge, is there a good reason why we should keep you alive? I not that Let's I know. Just say yes or no. Yes or no. Uh, I hope I hope I can I can help, but not by my role. Alrighty. So I need eight no nine to kill this time. Right? My math correct. Oh shit, my math. So we're down to seventeen people. Yep, yeah, nine to kill. That was right. So, three, or we voted on Blaz's life. Three, two, one. I count four. Are you still alive, Blaz? I'll let the uh, say pause for a second. I realized it was counting down. You still left. So, so, Blake, you were suspicious of Paul and Sean, did you say? Uh, I was Paul, Sean, and Graham for me. Just I'm just throwing them out there. See if anybody else agrees or disagrees. And if they do, cool. If not, cool. I agree with the Paul thing. Paul, don't 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 do this to me, Paul. Oh God. I don't know why I'm suddenly suspicious, but I mean, you have your reasoning, I guess. I actually want to nominate Ned. I got one. For, I got one for Ned. I can do. I got a second. Can I say why? Sure. So it was, he kind of had the, I was just, again, I pick up on social cues and I was listening to him or I was, as Blake was talking, I was watching Ned. I can't. 33 seconds. If we want a third nomination, we need to second this now. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Had... All right. I got second for Ned. All right. Uh, what's your reasoning, Alex? 
So again, I pick up on social cues. He was doing these kind of facial tics and he was kind of looking at, at Blake like, I can only describe it as like, I, I see this face when people are listening as the village is talking and trying to pick up on their arguments for like how they can blend in. And then when I asked him, he started pushing hard on Graham. And I thought Graham, again, with the leprechaun thing, it seems like that's a, a not a werewolf move to bring that up. And so for him pushing on Graham, especially after it seemed like Blake was more hard on Paul and Sean than, than Graham. So that's why. And uh, mm -hmm. Sean seconded, so what's your reasoning? Just to stop the count? Yeah, just to <laughs> stop the count and to have a chance to head speak. All righty. All right, Ned, go in and meet yourself and start your defense. Okay, well, I'll say is I'm on the village team and I've got a, a good role, which power is a one time use only, and I haven't used it yet. You probably want me to use it at some point, so I would suggest you don't uh, hand me out to dry right yet. That's all I got. All right. Getting... As key, well, as far as social cues go, I know I haven't played very often with a lot of people here, but this is what I usually do. I just sit and listen, especially early part of the game, So because that's the best way to get information. It's not to blend in. It's just to figure out what people are doing and saying or not saying or not doing. That's it. All right, you can open up for questioning. I got a question for you, Ned. If you got a once a game ability, mm -hmm. um, would you agree that the, that the Leprechaun probably should protect you tonight and you should use your ability tonight and therefore you've got no reason not to tell us what it is? Um, well, take a, take a vote. Who wants me? Who would like that? I'd do it if more people would like me to do that. Okay. Uh, it's priest, so I can protect somebody for the whole game. No, it, the priest uh, protects once for the first one. Time. Yeah. One person for the rest. But it says for the rest, right? It's permanent for one use. Yeah, permanent for one oh, person. If, if they get targeted. It gives them a second life, in effect. Oh. Just another life, basically. And then I just want to ask a quick question before this time yeah. runs out. Um, uh -huh. I do think you'll be safe tonight. I think the Leprechaun will protect you, so I don't know if you necessarily have to use your power tonight. Just no. keep that in mind. I mean, the only reason I brought the role is because time's running out, and I probably could vote it out regardless. But just Ned, putting it out. Uh, Ned, it might be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. It depends. It depends how valuable me and Blake are, because you're probably going to get targeted, and it looks like me and Blake are on a chopping block for Leprechaun. Sadly, that's all the time we have for Judge Judy's court. We're voting on Ned's life. Still need nine to kill. Three, two, one. That's unanimous. Ned, you're still alive. You have one more nomination left. 15 seconds. Name Paul. Say Paul uh, or Sean. Paul or Sean. I say I'm more suspicious of Paul. Yeah, I'll go on. I'll nominate Paul. Seconded. All right. You got that in just in time? Girls, after this, going to sleep. So, uh, give y'all reasoning. Well, it's actually um, the defense that you used. You used the whole, well, it wasn't even your defense, it was Blas' defense, but you used the whole, oh, uh, sometimes I get nominated for talking too much and not talking enough. I think you've said that in enough games that I'm starting to get suspicious when you use it a little too much. So that's the biggest reason. And uh, Elliot seconded? Um, the clock said one second at the time when I said seconded. It was either that or go straight to sleep. <clears throat> All right. That's your reasoning? All righty. Paul, meet yourself and defend yourself. Um, There's not much I can say besides the fact that I'm the Undertaker, but that's it. Anybody, anybody want to ask questions? So if we try um, to kill you now, you're either like, you're not going to die. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. 
Okay. We'll know if he's either the Undertaker Prince or Tough Wolf, and I doubt he would have said he's the Undertaker if he's the Prince. Uh, agree. So there's nothing to lose from voting down whether he's telling the truth or lying. Yeah. Hey, who's still unless, unless Adam asks if he was the pallbearer, then I could die. So can you tell us whose souls you've taken? Uh, yeah, I took uh, Adam S. and I took Chris because I was going in numerical order. I actually believe that from you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take any of uh, Adam? Yeah, uh, if uh, Adam S. was the pallbearer, um, then you could kill me, but I also have the uh, ability to find out what people's roles are, which when I die, you guys won't be able to know that. Did, well, you would have um, known that he was the pallbearer, so... Yeah. I would. Paul, did, did you get to take a Soul Knight Zero? Because yeah, I thought I most of my actions didn't happen then. I took Adam Soul Knight Zero. Um, I was not told that I have a special power when he died. Okay, so and... what was what was Adam? Because you would have been told what Adam would have... was. Yeah, I, I mean, he was a thing, but... Okay, but he, you, just said, you just said if he was the pallbearer, then you wouldn't die. Mm-hmm. So... You have to tell us what he was. Yeah. If you don't tell us, I'm I'm clearly voting down here, Paul. That doesn't make any sense. Does anyone want to counterclaim Undertaker? <laughs> it, makes, it, 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 it makes sense to vote down anyway, doesn't it, surely? Yeah. I don't think there's a yeah. reason to. We're, we're incentivized yeah. to vote down right now anyway. Yeah. Okay, fine. Adam was the Paul Bearer, so kill me. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, when I saw that I got The Undertaker, Jugan even said good luck in brackets, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be a good game. <laughs> All right. All righty. We're voting on Paul's life. Still need nine to kill. Three, two, one. That's enough. You bring Paul down to the gallows, strap him up to the pole, burn him alive, build yourself a villager. Everybody go to sleep. Let me get my old hat to wake up. You want to use your power tonight? Thank you all right, go to sleep. Let me get my wolves to wake up. My wolves, who you want to target tonight? So let you know if you're using a phone, if you turn your brightness down, I can see it better. And you go to sleep. My leprechaun, wake on up. You leprechaun, go to sleep. My Paul Bear, wake on up. You want to check? Thank you, Paul Bear, go to sleep. My seer to wake up. My seer. Where do you want to look at? I 
you say you go to sleep. Let me get my sorceress to wake up. And by the way, wolves, in my game, the sorceress cannot be killed by you. And Undertaker, wake on up. What soul do you want to take? Undertaker. Go sleep. Uh, village, stay asleep. You heard this in the night. Everybody waits on up, waits on up. First off, Balage, you won a sweepstakes to go to Guami's village and show off your favorite invention that you came up with. We'll see you tonight. And everybody had a peaceful night because nobody died. Okay. Well, I want to explain my upvote because this is what I thought. If he was telling the truth, why not keep him all around and let the seer check him? And then we'd well, know he was a wolf. Because, well, just to think, if he was telling um, the truth, he was the Undertaker, he'd be on his own team. No. No, so we'd not kill him anyway. He was oh, the oh that's... That point. Yeah, we couldn't have pulled him to the village team if Paul Bearer was dead. Pretty well, sure. Yeah. Was my understanding of this. Yeah. Dugan yeah. said that we killed a villager, so does that mean that Paul was lying? No, he had to have been... It, it just, I like, I love the astronomical probability that Jugan created a role that was unkillable except if someone else died and then the first two people to die were the ones that <laughs> that condition and the one that actually died the undertaker's on their own team so wouldn't it, you tell it, us it, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. more than that for him to have died as a villager adam walker would have had to have targeted paul right in that one chance or something That's he had so maximum good. to target I, anyone yeah I, I actually think maybe he was the paul bearer himself and that he was checking people in numerical order that makes more sense Okay, so I felt, like was, I felt like it was worth saving him for the seer to check. Okay, so we heard the Wolverine in the night. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, so we know that was in the game. We also, we also know there was no kill, and we heard Jugan say that, mm -hmm. by the way, werewolves, if you target the sorceress, the sorceress won't die, which is interesting. But the leprechaun's the most valuable player, so they shouldn't come out even if they know who they move the target onto, who's Wolverine. Very interesting thing to say in night two when there's no kill. Yeah, I forgot to say it. That's what that's the difference what I do with my seer and, or sorceress, and I forgot. It. The point being that if Balaz was targeted, Balaz was sent out of the village. That means Balaz couldn't be targeted, but I'm mm -hmm. assuming we would still hear that the werewolves had targeted. Balaz is what? Number does anyone remember what number? Three. 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 <laughs> He's only or they targeted someone next to a werewolf and the leprechaun moved it onto a werewolf. Well, just I want to continue on what Flick was saying, though. So if we're comparing when Adam was killed and there was no wolverine sound to when potentially Balash was targeted and there was a wolverine sound, uh, I mean, that gives us a pretty limited subset. But what are the other scenarios that we didn't get a kill last night? That maybe it was the Prince. source of why would Yugen mention that unless they'd already targeted or because it sprung to mind? That doesn't necessarily say that the sorceress was the target of the wolves. Just to check, the, is the sorceress a seer? Sort of. Because I don't see sorceress on the list. The, the sorceress the looks the seer. They're looking for the seer. They're the wake up with the wolves, yeah? No. No. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I didn't see um, on the bad no. list. Is it is it know. worth is it worth Ned saying if he used his power to protect someone? No, I wouldn't. No, no I'm I'm just going to say it again. Connor was very interested in talking about the previous round, and nobody wanted to talk about the Wolverine sound, which is exactly what I would do if I was a werewolf to shift attention. 
I would also do it if I was the only one who voted a different way than everyone else. Yeah. Real quick. I was the only one who voted. I, yeah. I only voted oh the way I voted was because potentially if the Undertaker had got a seer power, that could have been useful to the village and we could have had maybe another day or two to see whether or not we were killing um, or who was dying at night. And then we could have killed them. Well, I don't see how the Wolverine sound helps us because we don't know who was targeted. Well, you know, but we can get it. It's true. Yeah, yeah, but one person knows. People. But the leprechaun knows. So I, the leprechaun can work out. <laughs> yeah, but the leprechaun shouldn't say anything. They're the most valuable no. role. No, no, no. Don't say anything, oh. but you can work it out. You can start piecing the puzzle together. Well, the theory you all said was right. And if Adam was the target, the, was the target the first time, and Blas may or may not have been the target the second time, one okay. will bring down another. When no Wolverine gets Wolverine the second time, that points to Elliot, does it not? Yes. It points to both both Chris and Elliot being werewolves and Elliot being the Wolverine, if Balash was in fact the target. Okay. Would, 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 would Ned no, not no, 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 hold on, hold on. Wolverine is closest to the target. You do not have to be yeah. neighbors. Yeah. So it could be like Flick. It could yeah. be... Yeah. yeah. It's just who, if he's the closest of all the wolves. It could be me. It could also go to the other side and be Connor or Jerry or John. Sorry, it's true. Could be Connor. And all I'm going to say is, I think Connor is a werewolf. And if it's closest to, and we go the other direction, Connor is number 18. I was going to ask you, does does it wrap? Does the Wolverine wrap? Yep. Yep. Who's closest to Adam, buddy? What does closest to mean? Is there a number? If they're tied, then it's so like... I don't know, let's do an easy row, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, both Ned and Sean would be considered closest to Eddie. If, bo- if both Sean and Ned are villagers, then both Gro and Blake would be considered closest. So if either one of them are Wolverines, then you would hear the sound. That, so that was that how it worked me, last why time. Why would that make mm-hmm. me... Pause it and timer. All right, I'm going to make sure everybody explains. If the Wolverine is the closest wolf to the target, that's when you hear the sound. It's not neighbors. I mean, I'm, I just want to make sure y'all clarify. If, say, Strawberry was targeted, but there's no wolf, uh, Wolverine's the closest, say, it could be five away, and there's no other wolves closest, then they still would hear the sound. Make sense? Okay. But the only distinction, if we're going on the assumption that Balash was targeted, then the only difference between Adam as a target and Balash as a target is Chris being in the middle. So him being a werewolf would change whether or not we heard the the sound of, of the Wolverine. There's but no I, I just think that, in that that's a big you're assumption. Assuming Balash, exactly. You're assuming Balash was targeted. It could yeah. have been a left call moved to a werewolf. It could have been a prince. Yeah, um, I need to understand. Uh, the sorcerer is being targeted. Yeah. That would mean that I wasn't to not respond to it. I need to understand how I could possibly be the Wolverine if Adam. Yeah, me and Connor can't be the Wolverine. Yeah, I don't understand Adam. Yeah, no, that's right. That could so be making the You're saying that you're a regular werewolf. Okay, so then fine. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't understand the Wolverine argument. That's what I was questioning. Um, well, um, I just have to say, I just have to say really quickly that um, Flick looks like one of those witnesses who wants to remain anonymous, so they darken their features, <laughs> cracking me up. Um, and, but I actually agree with her on the Connor thing. She kind of, or Connor, um, also he said something about, you know, check, we should use a seer check to check the Undertaker, maybe because he doesn't want the seer checking him. Connor, I don't always want to distrust you, but I do again. <laughs> I think Flynn back. Get one of those distorted voice filters. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I'm say my body is very much And I'm still on to Sean. Sean. I didn't forget. Yeah. Do we want to read anything into Jugan say, in the middle of the night about, like, if you use your phone? I um, really don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking that, too, and I'm trying to, like, remove it from my mind because if you know, like, more about cameras and lighting and stuff. You can start deducing things. And I'm not sure we should be. Yeah, that. and I know that Chris was on, I think, a mobile phone earlier just because you had it in landscape rather than, no, you had it in portrait rather than landscape, which is a phone view. I don't think that gives us much info. Uh, uh, I think the, it's just the brightness on your phone if it's up or down. Like it's yeah, down. Just it says some people use phones, some people saying, don't. That, so. is, that is what your phone would look like if you were using the camera on your phone. It was that before game. Yeah. All right, everybody, shoot your phones. If, 
If I can come back, <laughs> if I can come back to Flick your argument, if Flick is saying she thinks Balash was targeted, and because of the Wolverine sound, Connor is a regular werewolf. Surely, in that you should have something like "I am Wolverine." Otherwise, you don't have the next one nearest, and that wasn't part of your argument. So I'm just wondering quite whether. Was it a half-formed thought? Was it a, a bit of a deflection? I, I, no, can I do I another rules clarification that. quickly? Uh, does the Wolverine yeah. know they are the Wolverine? Yes. Yes. Okay, they didn't last game. It was important. Yeah, well, sometimes no, people last forget. last game I messed up and said, I said <laughs> werewolf because I read it wrong because it looked like wolf, werewolf on my notes. They didn't know it like night two. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. I fixed it. But. So, here's, so Ned didn't want to reveal... Um, if he used his power or not. Mm -hmm. We only hear the sign. Sure, you didn't uh, Ned, you <laughs> not, they didn't want me to, so I didn't. I think you should, because what if you protected the person who was targeted? They would know, and they? They'd I don't know, but take it away. Would they know? I, I, I personally think that Ned, I, I don't know, maybe Ned got targeted, and then maybe he saved. He can't me protect or you. himself, though, can he? No, 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 but like the leprechaun moved it to me or you. you. <laughs> So Maybe if you, you or or uh, Eddie, and then I picked one of you to protect, then it wouldn't have had any effect. Well, but if you did, then that would say that Josh could be the Wolverine. That would say that Sean could be the Wolverine. So I'm just thinking there's information in that that we're we're kind of skipping over. If you were the one that protected somebody, and that's why they didn't have a kill. But we don't know if that was the case or not. Yeah, no, we don't know. Um, well, okay. I, 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 I know. Is, so, like, until someone starts dying and we hear the Wolverine sound, and that probably happens on two yeah. occasions, we don't really have enough to puzzle it out. I think there's too many sets of information, but less. it's not enough yet. We have killed people for less, and I have had a red flag against Connor from the start. I've also noticed a few other people who are doing interesting stuff. Um, who else do you have? There were people who were targeting Balaz. And then we're voting up for them, even though they targeted them, which I thought was interesting. Um, I would say Connor is definitely a werewolf. I mean, I'm, I'm not scribbling the best notes down here, but I'm I'm gonna go with Nick. I'll nominate Connor. I got one for Connor. I second Trish Flick's info is always really good. I also say that werewolves throw werewolves under the bus. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, so if you are a werewolf, start throwing them under the bus. I didn't nominate. All right. Bro, you nominated. Give your reasoning. I just think there's been some weird things going on. Connor's not stupid. Connor knows how the Wolverine should work. Things like that. That he's, uh, he's playing dumber than he is. And I think that's a sign that he might not. All right, Gary, what's your reason? Flick's normally really young with her, um, her reasoning, and she's not playing aggressive, so when she doesn't get defensive, that's when she's a good role, so I'm just trusting Flick on this one, because there have been a few times when I haven't trusted her, and I've been wrong, so. All righty. All right, Connor, meet yourself and defend yourself. Um, I said, I questioned the Wolverine thing because there was absolutely no way it could be the Wolverine. If we were sticking on the theory that Balaz was the one targeted, cause I'm not near Balaz. Um, that's what I'm questioning and I'm not playing dumb. That's why I questioned it because it made no sense to me that why or how I could possibly be the Wolverine. But then you guys were saying I could be a regular wolf, which that's fine, whatever. There's logic there, but the Wolverine argument uh, there should be absolutely no, uh, there should be 100% certainty I'm not the Wolverine. If you think Balaz was the one targeted, if you think this Ned theory that they went after Ned and it shifted to Blake or Eddie and nobody died, that's where my lead suspicion would be actually right now, is that one of those two is bad. Because if they targeted Ned and the leprechaun moved it and nobody died, one of them would have to be a werewolf. So, I mean, Flick obviously is on, she's going to be on target with me the whole game, but I think we're going to go on a logic standpoint. It makes more sense to go after Eddie or Blake right now. All right. Can open up for questioning. Well, I could have protected one or the other, and that could be the reason that that they... could be too. Yep. 
No, no, give me the uh, can, I, can I seriously? You you didn't understand that the power snakes around. So if all right, all right, I, it's questioning for the defendant. Not making comments. No having sidebars. If you have a question for Connor, this is time to ask it. Connor, who I are your question. suspicions? Oh, uh, I was suspicious of Paul the last round. Um, I just have a suspicion on Eddie or Blake right now, um, only because of the whole Ned thing. I think Ned could have protected them, but that's where I'm leaning towards. It's not even a suspicion. It's just purely basing off of what we talked about yesterday. And the fact that nobody died, they would have to assume that one of those two they shifted to. I don't know why Blas would have even been a target, so I'm kind of curious as to why people think that was a possibility. Do you think we should vote up and take our time with the other nominations? All righty. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, so we have currently 15 in the village. We need terrible at math today. So I'm actually just terrible at math in general. So we need eight, eight. to kill. Three, two, one. One. It's only five down. Connor, you're still alive. Okay, I need to say something. I've been thinking about this bit. Given we got a leprechaun and a leprechaun can keep on protecting people, I want to come out as this year. Day no, one, sorry, I check daily. He's safe. Day two, I check Sean. He's a werewolf. Nominate Sean. Whoa, nominate whoa. Sean. That is not true at all. Hold on, don't second it yet. Don't. He's, he's lying. He's lying. All righty. I got two nominations for Sean. Sorry, I had to cut you off, Sean, but you already had two nominations. Give you a reasoning. Um, no, no, I am a villager. No, Sean, it's not oh. your defense yet. Uh, I think, um, who nominated? Give your uh, reasoning. Uh, okay. I, I did. I gave my reasoning. If um, Even if you got doubt, once you kill, call, sh kill Sean, you'll find out whether I told the truth or not. All right. And who yes. seconded? Josh? Yeah, uh, same thing. I think Elliot's reasoning right there was good that he can be saved by the leprechaun. So I see a, uh, if he's got a werewolf, he's a seer. He, he should come out. He should call Sean out. So there we go. All right, Sean, defend yourself. Elliot's lying. He's not the seer. And I'm the only one who could possibly know that because I, I know that I'm not a werewolf. He, I'm just a villager. I know. Typical defense for a werewolf, so nice job pinning me. I already had some suspicion on me, which I don't understand, but I will say um, what I, I don't read social cues very well. I read flaws in logic. I haven't heard anything that Connor has said that's been questionable, and so that makes me really suspicious of her, because the way the conversation is going, she's either not following what's been saying being said or hasn't heard the questions entirely because that's two or three times where she's going after Connor for saying something that he didn't actually say and grow also jumping on that makes me suspicious of both of them so so I am you don't I have no role you're not going to lose anything by killing me other than numbers so. who, who is the person you're talking about then so the line the connection went funny uh, uh, who I'm suspicious of so the line, the line cut out. So I didn't hear, I didn't hear all of what you said. Oh man, I said a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Jack repeated all, but basically, I am, I'm a villager. Elliot's lying. He's not the seer because, again, I'm the only one that could possibly know that at this point. But you'll find out when it's confirmed when I die. Um, so I know you have to kill me, but I want to also call out my suspicions of flick and grow because. So Sean, could you uh, be question for Sean? Yeah. So, Sean, what do you think about the fact that I'm the beholder and I know Elliot's the seer? And I don't know why he would be lying. And I think <laughs> you're suspicious now. That's exactly what I was I have a question. It Are you a lichen? It yeah, it potentially could be a lichen, but you like, know. There's question? no lichen in there. That was, I was thinking well, about you that. Are a lichen, you're, regular then, villager. you're dead anyway, so. I have a good question. I was just asking if there were a lichen because I didn't get my question in the last time when it came to Connor, so. I, they, they didn't say there'd be a lichen in here, so I, I don't. Chris is nodding yes. There.
All right. Sadly, the time is up. And if y'all were listening earlier, I said likings and curse may or may not know if they're or like in a curse. So they're on the sheet. That means it's a possibility they're in your game. So anyway, we're back to voting on Sean's life. Uh, we need eight to kill. Three, two, one. That's plenty. You bring Sean down, decide you uh, going to bring him to a cliff and Spartan kick him off the cliff because you feel like he's a filthy werewolf but he screams all the way down to his death you killed yourself a villager <clears throat> welcome back Balaj from Kwame Village alright let me get my old hag to wake up my old hag Go, I go to sleep. All right, wolves, wake on up. Who you want to uh, munch on tonight? Thank you, Wolves. Go to sleep. Save my notes right now. Alrighty. I get my leprechaun to wake up. This is the target. Go to sleep. Let me get Paul Bear to wake up. What do you want to look at? Thank you, Paul Bear. Go to sleep. Let me get my seer to wake up. Who you want to look at? Thank you, Seer. Go to sleep. A sorceress. Who do you want to look at? All right, thank you, Sorceress. Go to sleep. An Undertaker. Whose soul do you want to take? Alrighty.
Wrong button. Alrighty, let me tell you what happened last night. Josh, you got asked to go to... Well, Ashley Balaj recommended you to the Guami Village to come do some of your stand-up comedy. So we'll see you tonight. And let's see. Blake, you heard screams in the night and you run over to Ned's house. It's been busted open. You see body parts everywhere. You only see like half a body and the rest of it was like dragged off into the woods. Thank you, Ned, for playing. So what happened to Elliot would usually... Um, Flick, you were right. Mind. Connor's a werewolf. Yeah, yeah. And do you want to know why I think Connor was focusing on Sean? It's because there's probably a werewolf there. And probably they were focusing on Blake because there's probably a werewolf there. And I will say this. Gro and Jerry were very quick to nominate when it came to me mentioning Connor. And I feel like that was to save their own skins. So yeah. I would add there's been a slight smile on Gro's face there. There was that tiny little twitch because I was watching. Gro is definitely a werewolf. Yeah, I agree. Gro Gro's a werewolf. That's yeah. what I was thinking as well. Exactly the same yeah. trailer of thought. I'm Very definitely second. I just put out there that I'm if anybody there. missed it, I am the beholder. I know Elliot was telling the truth, so that means Sean was a lichen. If yeah, anybody Sean's has any lichen. doubt on it, then kill me. Don't kill him. You'll find out that I'm telling the truth. No, Sean, Sean was a lichen, wasn't he? Um, yeah, but I agree. Kind of like Grow Gro was voting kind of like down on the first vote on Connor, knowing well, full well that Connor wasn't going to die from that and just other reasons. So Grow was my number one suspicion. Like, for ages, so I, I agree with Flick there. And if and uh, Elliot's a little smile, just there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm also a little bit suspicious. I'm also a little bit suspicious of Strawberry. I've never played with her before, but there's could be a couple of Y smiles going on there as well. But I don't know because I've not played with you before. But I have some suspicions of Strawberry. Can before I... we nominate, can we hear more from Jerry? Can I say something as a strategy wise just to get people's thoughts? I'm worried if the old hag keeps sending people out that they might send a leprechaun out and that gets me killed. Would That's it be sensible point. for the old hag to not be sending people out too much anymore? And they could send you out, but then you won't get to use your ability. Yeah, which we That's don't want either. I, they could send you out, Alex, but I don't see the point. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm useless. The reason why I seconded so fast with Gro was whoever nominated Connor, I was going to second anyway. So I was just waiting for someone to nominate. Okay, because it was my pointing out I was going to nominate, but like literally as soon as I said it, two people came in very, very quick and werewolves mm. throw werewolves under the bus. Also, yes, no, you were talking for so long, Flick, and you kept on talking and the clock was going down, down, down. So I just wanted to move it along. Yeah. And I was, I was going to second whoever and then voted weirdly with that yeah. one. Flick, if you're a werewolf and you threw Connor under the bus, I'm going to laugh so hard in the end game. Elliot, <laughs> Elliot, I don't want you to forget about that, okay? Don't. Please don't. You know what, Elliot? I would be more than happy if you wanted to check me, but I would I, say... I, I, I don't think you are, but it would be epic if you were. Elliot. A lone wolf is a possibility. Elliot. Um, yes, Elliot, please do not forget no, about I think you. I think you should check Graham tonight, just to nope. clear him. Technology. I'm telling you, if you don't go after Flick soon, she is going to get through. She's going to make it through. I'm telling you that. I don't think so. I think Flick's good. I think Flick's good. Think Flick's good. Right. Yeah, I think you can quote me on it at the end. And I've, um, I've had this happen to me before with the Dumbledore thing. Okay? But I'll don't check. forget about it. I'll, I'll probably saying. check Jerry next. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'm happy check with that. Jerry. Yeah. Try and, try, try and check Strawberry at some point. I think we're all, I think we're, I think, I think, Hey, I think hey, 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 you can check me all you want. I'm nothing but a villager. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not going to check the people next to me because if I get targeted, they're the ones who end up dying anyway. Well, for the record, I was flick. I was not, with the only. We're not dying, and then we find out that there are werewolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think Gray. I think Gray might be all right. I think Blake, Blake. I think you're good. I think you're a good Blake. I, think Blake I am. Right. I. You know. I was. I was. I was just gonna say. I was with Flick on the Connor thing. But when um, Elliot said that Sean was a wolf, I got excited because he was one of my day two picks. But unfortunately, yeah. that didn't uh, work out too well. But um, yeah, I think Connor is yeah. a safe bet. Yeah, I well, remember. Nominate Connor. Connor. I got one for Connor. I got one for Connor. Two. I uh, see Flick's hand. So Flick is the second. 
Alrighty, let me mute people because it gets out of hand. All right, uh, who nominated first? I think it was Alice, right? So give me your reasoning. The seer that I 100% trust is the seer says that he's a werewolf and we've already killed a lichen, so. All right, Flick, give your reasoning. Well, so um, I picked up on what I believe was a verbal slip at the start, although other people don't seem to think that. Um, there's been little things throughout the game, then trying to distract from the fact that we heard the Wolverine sound, then trying to cast doubt into the middle onto Sean. Sean was a lichen, which makes me then suspect people who are close to Sean, and also the fact that the seer has said that, yep, yeah, definitely a werewolf. So, you know, feeling quite vindicated. He's a werewolf. All righty. All righty, Connor, you can defend yourself. Uh, not too worried here, because I'll be here tomorrow. So who do I want to kill tonight is the question. Uh, Flick, I'm very confident, is the lone wolf. So please don't forget about that. Very, very confident in that. Um, some of you, one of you is coming down with me tonight. So we'll see. All right, you want to open up for question? Yeah, anyone questions? Does anyone want to know who I'm going to kill tonight? There's no village on Leave your camera on because I like seeing your little one. You <laughs> maybe uh, yeah, I should bring a werewolf by outing other werewolves. I'm very confident she's a lone wolf and she's going to sneak through, and I don't want that to happen. She's not on my team. No more questions? And I can't kill her, so that's the problem. Alrighty, no more questions. Give y'all a chance. Alrighty, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So need seven to kill. Three, two, one. Yes, unanimous. So Alex and Flick, y'all grab. You go bust down in Connor's door and bring him down to trial. But y'all so confident that you don't even decide to have a trial. You're going to take him straight to the guillotines. But as you like, take him, he struggles, not y'all both on your butt, and he takes off into the woods. Everybody go to sleep. Update my notes real quick. Old Hag, go ahead and wake on up. Who do you want to send out of the village tonight? Let me go higher, go to sleep. Uh, let me get my wolves wake up. Who y'all want to brutally kill tonight? All right, thank you. Uh, leprechaun, leprechaun, this person is the target. You remove that target. Thank you, leprechaun. Go to sleep. Oh, there, wake on up. Who do you want to look at? Your leprechaun, uh, not leprechaun. Paul Bear, go sleep. All right, see here. Wake on up. Who you want to look at? Thank you. See here. Go to sleep. Sorceress, wake on up. Sorceress, go to sleep. Undertaker, whose soul you want to take tonight?
Alrighty, let me tell you what happened. So, Flick, you got a movie award. You had to go to Hollywood to <clears throat> go to accept it. Thank you for, uh, we see you back tonight, so. And, Balage, I'm so sorry. You, uh, went into the woods because you wanted to go get firewood. And you were ambushed by some wolves and you got killed. Thank you for playing. Okay, couple of things. First of all, Jerry's also a werewolf. Jerry? Who, Jerry? And Who, Jerry? Telling you. Stop Elliot it, Connor. Was bad. That was my best I... attempt to kill her. I knew if I oh. picked Elliot, there was a chance the leprechaun mm. could point up and it would. Mm. Would it kill her if it would have pointed up? Uh, so no, I can't kill her, guys. I don't know what else well, to do. I'm just telling you. She's I... alone. She's not on my team, so I don't want her winning. She's not winning. I don't think she she can be. When Adam was killed, um, there was no Wolverine sound. There was a Wolverine sound when Balash was ki killed. Chris can't be Wolverine because there was no sound when Adam was killed. I can't be Wolverine because I'm the seer. If Flick was the lone wolf, who's Wolverine? Yeah. That's a good... She's got to be the Wolverine then. Jerry Flick or, 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 or say Andreas. Why, Jerry? Why? Guys. I'm yeah. telling you, I don't know how, like, I'm on the bad team. Connor, how do we meet Connor? Flick's Lone Wolf. Is on Flick's her own. Wolf. I don't yeah. want her to win. That's why okay. Flick's Lone Wolf. I'm not even telling you to <laughs> <laughs> we've, got, we've got Jerry Cutter and, uh, and Jerry Cutter and definitely grow, I think, to get rid of first. So let's yeah. not even worry about that. You, you've already answered with me, and I say, no, no, not giving yeah. up our fellow fair, 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 fair pack mate. So uh, target us to yeah. bring it on, but we're not giving you any information. Yeah, Connor, like I just got, I, I just got one question you for you. I'd love to stick around to help. Yeah, just one question. I think you'll want to we'll answer this one. I think we're doing all right at the moment. If, <laughs> if you keep ignoring Flick, he won't be. I'm just telling yeah. you that. Um, we'll worry about Flick later, but I think Flick's um, good. Yeah, we'll worry about her in about three times time. But, <laughs> Connor, if she is just a regular werewolf and decided to throw you under the bus to establish her credentials... <laughs> Would that oh, not I be poetic? I don't, know, I don't know who the lone wolf is, but then when she started coming after me, like day one, I, she had to be it. I'm well, if she's not, she can't be. Who are the other candidates? Okay, who, who do people want to get first, rid of first? Connor, Connor or Jerry? Connor, Connor, Connor. Connor. Connor's more dangerous. I, I, like I really want to believe Connor. I really think no. but I also think Connor's the type of person who would think that the lone wolf is a role that is you know, really difficult to play and would want them to win. Same Elliot's thing, played as the lone wolf. Ask him how he did in that game. What'd you do in that game, Elliot? <laughs> you went after every single wolf on that team. Not, I'll I'm talk not... about that later, because <laughs> if, if you were right, it would be very relevant. <laughs> Nominate <laughs> Connor. It must be the Wolverine. Nominating Connor. Yeah, I'll second. <laughs> All right, I got two for Connor. <laughs> Good try, uh, Connor, but you know. I, it's not a I mean, I know I'm going, but I don't want Flick to win. That's what I'm telling you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flick can't be Lone Wolf. Um, I messed up on my know. notes. I messed it out. Uh, Village, I messed up on my notes. And um, you shouldn't have heard that sound last night. So my bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies. Fair enough. Um, anyway, I pushed the wrong button. So anyway... Uh, Connor was so you not... mean oh, no. you mean you made my ears bleed for nothing? Yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I know Eddie nominated, but who was the first one? All right, Alice, go ahead with your reasoning for nominating. Like I said Connor's a confirmed werewolf. I I think he would want the lone wolf to win, so I'm not sure what his thing on flick is. I I do. He seems really genuine. I want to believe him, but I. uh I think we should kill him first. Okay, uh, Eddie, what's your reasoning? Well, I, I Connor is completely not genuine in this moment. So, and he's obviously a confirmed wolf. We know this, all right. There's loads of people to kill, and we'll get around to Flick if it does. But Flick's good to good in my eyes anyway. Do you know what I mean? So let's just kill Connor. All righty, Connor, go ahead and defend yourself. I'm fine with that, Eddie. Like, I, I I would completely agree if I was a villager, I'd come back. But I am telling you, don't please do not forget about her. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, she's good. Look at all the werewolves she's killed, because I've done that plenty of times. Flick, I know you're watching. You screwed up the last game by killing me when I told you to save me. 
look what's happening right now. And then she went after me. That's why I'm holding this grudge against Flick right now. I do not want her to win. I'm calling her out right now. So just remember it. You guys can ask any questions you want. You want to ask me how my day was today? All right. I think it's the first game ever that like two wolves are openly in the owl just alive like that. I got to say, I like being the tough wolf if they catch me because I, I just got to hang around for an extra day and I don't have to stress about line or anything. What's your favorite type of sandwich? Uh, I got to say, I would go for a hoagie, like an Italian, nice, nice Italian hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> I got a minute left to live. Any more questions before I die? Blake, Is there a no? reason you didn't want to claim Prince? No, I didn't need to claim it. I, guys, I, once you guys see me as a werewolf, it does, there's nothing I can do to get out of that. So I'm just going to go down. I have like double sears on him, basically. Is that soundproofing in your room? The wall? Yeah. yeah. All right, Blake's probably a werewolf too because he, he doesn't want anyone to hear the screams in his room. Definitely. <laughs> any more, any for the more questions for the defendant? I got 25 seconds left, guys, in my life. Any more? <laughs> Will you be back for the post game debrief? I'll try. I, I gotta I gotta put him to bed, so I'll try to be back. I really want to be yeah. back because I want to. I'm gonna watch, but I want to see if I can come back at the end. Should we How need much to wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, I'm done with that charade. All right, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, we got 12 people, so we need seven to kill. Did I miscount? One, two, three. Oh, I'm a villager, by the way. I forgot to say that. So I need uh, seven to kill. Three, two, one. There's only... There's two up. Three up. Still not enough. You bring... Uh, this time, y'all bring Connor down. You're going to cast him out. It's death by exile. You're gonna exile him out as you like. You love the you love the world so much because you left into it. And as you start walking away, you morph in this hairy wolf, turn around, try to attack him, and then uh, Eddie whipped out his gun and shot him in the heart with a silver bullet and killed him. Thank you, Connor, for playing. Alrighty, uh, Flick, did you come back yet? There you go. Welcome back, Flick. All right, now we got everybody back. Oh, hey, wake on up. Who do you want to send out of the village tonight? Thank you, Oh, hey, go to sleep. All right, my wolves, my wolves, wake on up. You want to target tonight? You can go to sleep. Elliot, wait, uh... Anyway, we'll, we'll just go to sleep. Let me get my... Theo to wake up. Do you want to look at? You go to sleep. Uh, I know I was forgetting somebody. That's why I got tons of uh, my uh, leprechaun. Wake on up. Let me show you who was targeted last night. If you want to move it. Sleep. 
Paul Berwick on up. Thank you, Paul Berwick. Go to sleep. Sorceress wake on up. Sorceress. And last but not least, Monitor Taker wake on up. You saw you want to take tonight. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, Graham and Andreas, you invited Strawberry to breakfast in the morning, and y'all went to go eat, and then y'all realized she didn't show up, so you went back to check her house. Doors were bashed in, the windows were smashed in. You find body parts everywhere. Strawberry is dead. Day is yours. Okay, I'm so, really confused because uh, I checked Strawberry and was told she was a werewolf, so I'm working out how she died, trying to work out how she died. Do my little lichen. Oh, okay, yeah, I like suppose so. Um, so I want to address what Connor was saying. I think it was because Connor was trying to redirect from the fact that um, Elliot found that Jerry was a werewolf. I also have suspicion on Grow. So what I'm going to suggest, if Elliot hasn't already checked me. If I was the lone wolf, I'd want to be here to the end. So, we kill Jerry, he check me tonight, then tomorrow we kill Grove. I, I don't think we even Not need to waste checked. a kill on you. We don't need to waste a check on you. We just yeah, as a, I'm, we I'm, I'm allow just you to make it to the know, final five. We have yeah. to be fully checked. Yeah. 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 Um, look, fl Flick, you're, you're next to me. At some point, something could well get moved. If you make it to the final three, then, yeah, like, people might get suspicious, but I'm very happy to wait a while and not worry yeah. about you yet. Yeah. Okay, but like, I just wanted to redirect the fact that that happened after I pointed attention to Jerry and to Grove. And, yeah, and, and, and Connor know. would happily try and make a villager look like the lone wolf to yeah. make me waste he, a check. He could, he could keep a straight face. I don't believe that for a second. I um, think, like, like I say, I think, well, obviously, Jerry's confirmed. I 100% think Grove is. Um, I think Blake looks Blake looks good. Graham looks good. Elliot looks good. Flick, you look good. Alex has been kind of confirmed the holder. Um, so, so that leaves me with Josh, Chris, no. and Andreas. Chris I don't want to can kill if I'm targeted. Uh, yeah, I'm not I don't want to kill this person. I think you know. Obviously, we've got better targets, but I'm I'm not 100 percent on Blake just because. Stop. Alex, here you that, go again. Connor did some get there trying to throw out a little joke there, like to protect you. I don't know. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Andre's Andre's potentially might be good. I'm just saying, Alex, just don't forget that. Alex, you don't you don't have some uh, body language suspicions on me this time. I have no body language <laughs> suspicions on you. It was just that. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm not even saying you're fifty percent plus. I'm just, I'm, just I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with. You. <laughs> No, don't kill me. You'll leave this beautiful fur baby an orphan. No, I'll, yeah. I'll adopt her. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> save it. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> the the cat will be fine. <laughs> Not like <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Look at this face. Uh, this do we want to do we want to nominate some of the people that have not been confirmed or anything like yeah. that to get? I think we need. We're more not going to get information from them. They all know we're not going to kill and wait for to kill Jerry. Nominate me. I've got tons of information. From no, them. I mean Andreas has said nothing. Chris A has said nothing. Let's hear from them. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll nominate Andreas. I'm trying to ask questions. Did somebody nominate Gurry first. I thought Elliot did. So I got one for Gurry. So do I have a second for Gurry? No. So it's Jerry. Or Jerry? Jody. All yeah. Right. Mouse. <laughs> Not mouse. So I'm no, I don't have a second for Jerry. All right. And who was the next one? Andreas. I got one for Andreas. Got a second. All right. All right, give uh, y'all reasoning. Uh, not heard him speak that much. I don't, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling more positive, but I just want to hear what he has to say. Um, so I'm not up suspicious of him at all. I've got suspicions elsewhere, but I just want to hear him say because I don't think we're going to vote him to kill him anyway. And uh, Alex seconded? Yeah, I just want to hear him speak. I don't have any suspicions. 
All righty. Go ahead, Andreas. Uh, so the reason I was calmer over the last days than in the beginning, because I thought we had basically two werewolves out in the open, and there was a lot of shit chat going on, to be honest. So there wasn't a lot of worth in weighing in. Um, because with Connor and Jerry in the open, there was just not a lot to say. I think I said much more like before that and tried to help the village out as good as I could. Um, so, yeah, that was the reason I was a bit silent. But I think with Jerry, we might have... I don't believe Connor's stuff on Flick, to be honest. Um, I think I'm more on Grow as well. I don't know. I haven't heard a lot from Josh and Graham. Maybe we can let them talk next without denomination necessarily. But yeah, that's the reason why I was more silent. All right, you can open up for questions. Yeah. Any questions for the defendant? All right, I'm going to take those to your unanimous, your unanimous nope. All righty, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need six to kill. Three, two, one. Uh, only one down. All right, you still alive. Why flick? Why? I literally, I literally had that thought when I did it. For some reason, I thought we were doing Jerry in my head. Um, <laughs> and I'm yeah, I, I, you I, look I, very I, similar. But immediately, my friend was like, "What am I doing?" Sorry. I also, by the way, laughed that last night on Connor. Many people like waited because they thought, like, do we do the funny upvote? But we don't want to keep him alive. Yeah, really Strawberry kind of hesitated, and that was why I was. It was surprising when she died. Yeah. But it wasn't her, it was like two or three people were like, including I think Elliot. It was like, I, I, I thought I Strawberry think might I hesitated because I just lost concentration for a second. <laughs> I did the I funny up for respond to Andreas's comment. I feel like both Josh and I have spoken quite a bit, certainly compared to Chris, who I think we mm. might be able to get a good read on him if he uh, wants to share with the group his suspicions and what he thinks of the game overall. Yeah, Chris, I really want to know what you think. Well, um, obviously, Jerry is confirmed werewolf. I'm suspicious of Grow, and I do kind of believe Connor with Flick. Because I'm... But we can test that, because if Elliot is targeted, the Leprechaun can move it to Flick. If there's no kill, then we can kill Flick. Mm -hmm. I'm satisfied. That's good. Elliot, Josh, trust Elliot. me, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, you've got to lead us to victory here. I hope you know it's on your shoulders. Pick the right people. I mean, my thought is we just keep, um, as long as I'm alive, we just keep on killing known werewolves where we have them because it also means we can't accidentally hit the leprechaun. Yep. Um, and I just keep on giving you more good people, and at least then at the point where I go, you've hopefully got enough good people that you can puzzle out most of the rest of it yourselves. Yeah. Well, Ellie, when you first came out, you were dead quick when you said who you checked day one, day two. I know you checked Alex. Who else have you checked? Um, <laughs> Alex, I think, was the only confirmed good. Um, right. There was Strawberry, and there was... Um, the other person we killed who is a village, Sean. Sure. And then there was Connor and Jerry. Okay. Don't ask me which order they're in. <laughs> so we've, all, we've only killed one werewolf at the moment, haven't we? Yeah, we... we're about to kill two. Yeah, yeah, we're about to kill two. And we're pretty sure that we don't have an Undertaker to worry about. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're, they, we're, 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 we're our first yeah. people. Um, we're well assuming there's no PI. We think our priest is probably dead. If there's yeah. an, the old hag can probably come out to just narrow down options. Uh, it's not it, a bad I idea. can go ahead and tell you, I'm 98% sure it was Balaz. I won't say why, but <laughs> I'm 98%. I mean, if, I, if the old hag is in the game. I can understand that suspicion. Oh, so. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. All right, well, I mean, Jerry. 
That can do it. All right. <laughs> I got two for Jerry. Give y'all reasoning. I think it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, for me, there's nothing special. It's just been some really subtle social cues. The odd smile here and there. <laughs> that type of thing. Subtle? Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I lasted this long. I, I, know, I, I knew I'm going to out myself for like this quite often. Alrighty, so that's y'all's reasoning. Let me, uh... Jerry, uh, go ahead and defend yourself. I'm a villager. <laughs> um, well, you got me. I'm a bit hairy tonight. Forgot to shave. Forgot to hide myself. I do have one random question. When I die, because I know I'm getting a... However you want to kill me, just leave a beautiful corpse. If I turn off my video, will I still be able to watch you guys? Because I don't know. I'm not very good with... Cool. Sweet. <laughs> go team, my little... Sorry? There's also the dead chat you can go in. Werewolves, kill them all. Get them. Win. Bye. Anybody want to ask questions? <laughs> yeah. Right. What's your favorite sandwich? Sorry, what, what? I was just going to ask that. What's your favorite sandwich? Oh, chicken, mushroom, and mozzarella melted. Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Garlic mushroom. That almost deserves an upvote. Yeah. <laughs> do it. No. Come on, do it. <laughs> I'm gonna die anyway. Just just do it. I, I did my funny vote for Connor, sorry. Well but there was another question as well, or someone else asked was gonna ask something. Yeah, I wanted to know how many werewolves are left. <sighs> oh that would be she, telling. She said werewolves win, so I'll just plural. <laughs> All right. Uh clearly we're not gonna ask any more questions, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need six to kill. Three, two, one. All right. Uh, only two votes up. You bring and here's a bubble. Uh, you bring uh, Jerry down to the gallows, and y'all slap her into the guillotine. Uh, Alice pulls lever. She tries to morph into a filthy werewolf. Y'all kill yourself a werewolf. All right, let me get my old hag to wake up. All right, let me get my wolves to wake up. You want to target tonight? Wolves go to sleep. Let me get my leprechaun to wake up. This is the target. I'm going to sleep. Uh, let me get Paul Bear to wake up. Get Paul Bear to go to sleep. Alrighty, let me get my seer to wake up. Who do you want to look at? Just 
Do you go to sleep? Sorceress. You sorceress go to sleep. And last but not least, Undertaker, wake on up. And that'll be it. First off, Flick, now you want a trip to Universal Studios. You said you want to go check that out. See that tonight. And there was no kill last night. Okay, I was wrong about uh, <laughs> Belaz being the old hag. Oh, you, no, you, we could have an Undertaker still. No. Or Doppelganger. Or Doppelganger. Yes, really doppelganger, yes. Um, what I would like to say though is Andreas is a villager. Yeah, okay. of course. Um, and we've not got we we we've not got Undertaker. Surely we've not got Undertaker is Undertaker's dead. Undertaker was Paul, wasn't it? I what are the notes? I highly suspect that it's a really they, but if he wasn't what you, it's either Paul or Adam. I can't quite for sure place which way round they are, but I don't care so, too much. Well, Adam could have been the Undertaker a because. Villager, though. He died at night. Okay, hold on. Undertaker's hold on, hold not on. a villager unless he was targeted well, night one by Adam. But, Paul, but Adam couldn't have been the Undertaker because he died first. Right. He couldn't have been. But I'm just saying that Paul, if he was the Undertaker, the Undertaker's on their own team. I would I would imagine that we would uh, learn. We lost he, Gro. Where'd she go? I think she was lagging, so she's probably coming back. Mm, she was next anyway. Probably. Yeah, if if she doesn't come back by the end of the day, I, I if everyone else is, I'm happy to just sort of count as the village kill. Yeah, yeah. Dugan yeah. just tells we us when the Undertaker dies that he was a villager, even if they weren't on the village team, then that's fine. But that's that's yeah. just my only thing with Paul is is it seemed like he was lying from that information. Yeah, he was an outsider I, I, I than a villager. Day, I treat daytime kills just like a seer, so like I let you know if it's a werewolf or not. So oh, okay. There you go. There you go. I mean, why would you claim Undertaker as a villager? Undertaker. Uh, like, okay, like, so you meant not a werewolf rather than a villager. Yeah, it was Okay, um, so what are our options for no one dying? Talk the, to a um, or a sorceress or protected. Um, or a or, 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 or it targeted Flick given she got sent out by the old hag. Yeah. Also Which could also there, mean yeah. that the person next to them was targeted and the leprechaun moved them there. So if, for uh, instance, if I was targeted, it could yeah. have moved the yeah. flick. Could have been a tough guy, could have been a cursed, could have been Undertaker. We know it, Jerry we, wasn't the Wolverine because we didn't have the Wolverine sound when she died, which is what happened last time a Wolverine hmm. died in a previous game. So hmm. just keep that in mind if we're trying to figure out where targets yeah. are or where targets have moved. Was uh, Flick's number five, yeah? Flick's five. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm expecting Elliot was targeted and it was maybe moved to Flick. Yeah, I mean, because it's what, what I suggested, the Leprechaun done, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which doesn't okay. help us now because so, she was so sent before away. Before we nominate yeah. and kill Grow, who do people think I should check next? Because I'm... Um, well, good. Well, here's, I, you know, well, here's what I'm going to say. Before, I, I was hoping I... I was thinking I should just not come out ever because clearly... Uh, I have one of the more powerful roles, but I think I have m more information now. So I'm the leprechaun. Josh yeah, was so. targeted. Josh was targeted last night, and I didn't move it um, because I thought maybe a wolf was targeting himself. I don't know. He could be the tough guy. I'm sure that's what he'll claim now. No. Um, what are you? I, I think could actually, I, I think Ned used his uh, save ability on me. Nope, because the night there was no kill, I was shown that I was the target. I was a leprechaun, and I was shown that I was a target. So um, Josh is definitely evil. Um, thank you, Ned. I think he saved me. Um, this doesn't mean they're good, but Eddie, you were targeted like three or four rounds ago, and I moved it. Um, Graham was targeted, I think, two nights ago, and I moved it to Strawberry, I think. Um, Elliot, you've obviously been targeted at least once. I can't remember how many times, and I moved it. Um, so now they can kill me tonight, but that means Elliot gets one more check. So, yeah. um, okay, I got one more thing to say before we um, go for any kill today, which is Josh 
a, if Both Josh was the target, a werewolf can't target themselves. Jugan, am I right on that as the rule? That werewolves can't target themselves? I didn't clarify that, but no, they cannot target themselves. So that, so means Josh, okay, that would mean Josh can't be a werewolf. We only have to kill werewolves. If he's a sorcerer, we don't have to kill him. So... so he's a sorcerer. Yeah. I figured um, you were the leprechaun. And the sorcerer's ability is just to check whether or not I'm the seer. So, yeah. If the seer's already yeah. out, the sorcerer's is just a dead weight, basically. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. well, so, we'll so, so, my, my, so my view is we don't waste the rope on Josh. No. So you well, think it's well, grows next. Yeah, grow, grows next. Grows next. I can come up. I've got a roll. I've got a roll. I can... I don't, well, Blake, you've already cleared me, so it don't matter. But like, I've got my role's naff. But well, now's the point. Okay. We, we've yeah, got... I'm, I'm, I'm a diseased. I'm basically I'm a villager with diseased. Oh, I didn't I think that was what you had. Eddie, then. That's, that's probably that's the role, one. That's a role, not an attribute. That's a role. It's a role. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, well, who's you want to claim? Okay. I think. I think they, want to claim Hag. I think they did attack Alex also once, and I moved it. I can't remember. I didn't write it. I didn't write anything down. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. If no one's claiming Hag, then when Flick gets back tomorrow and probably claims Hag, I'll be very inclined to believe her. Yeah. Yeah. So well, she's got an easy out. <laughs> which throws Connor's wolf out yeah. the window. I mean, the, the, th the thing is, like, if Flick makes it, if there's still Wolf left and Flick's in the last four, then Elliot should check. Elliot should check it. But I think I think Grow's, def Grow's definitely werewolf. I mean, it sounds like Chris, Grow, and and Flick are the only ones that it could possibly be, right? At this point, I'm inclined Josh. to believe Chris is good. I am too. You're the sorcerer, Josh. If we believe Blake, yeah. So one of your Blake, your Blake has to be bad. So I'm not going to put too much weight. No, no Blake, Blake, Blake's leprechaun. I definitely believe Blake's leprechaun. Yeah. yeah. I, I, believe that. I, I believe that. I'll check. Have leprechaun question mark written next to his name. I'll, I'll check Chris tonight. It's going to be that's, my last check. Probably. That, that's, I'll be honest. That's why when Graham on day one said the thing about the leprechaun, I was thinking, well, I know that Adam was targeted and I didn't move it. So who else would be thinking about that? Maybe a werewolf. But, um, I, I still I was stand wrong. by my argument that you should have yeah. moved it. Well, here's the thing. I, I, his defense was very odd to me, and so um, I, I'm, I'm too nice of a player. Chris A has been killed like day one, the last two games I played, and Connor. I didn't want him. I, I, I should have just moved it, but that's yeah. why. Uh, I mean, very brave move of a game for Leprechaun in for the Werewolves to go and kill a player sitting between two Leprechauns. <laughs> Sorry, a player sitting between two Werewolves. But yeah, so, I mean, Chris, we, I'll check you tonight. We've had suspicion yeah, that's on fine. Grow. I'm a villager, so one. Yeah, I've got I've got to nominate Grow. Seconded. All right, I've got a nomination for Grow and seconded by Elliot. So, uh, Eddie, give your def reasoning first. Just been number one suspicion for ages. Just lots of kind of like since we've kind of like also as well accused her as being a werewolf. She was quite vocal and she's literally not said anything since to even try and defend herself. Um, so I 100% think Grow's kind of like a werewolf for all the reasons that we've kind of like been talking about throughout the game. Yep. Uh, for me, it's the same. It's been absolutely obvious for about four days now that Grow was on the list of people we we're going to get round to when we had no one better to kill. And she's had no, not said once about being a villager or anything to really try and fight her corner. I think it's, I think it's just a mere culpa. Alrighty. Let's, uh. <laughs> Bro, give your defense. I don't really care to. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This happens to me every time Flick is in the game. She gets suspicious of me. She gets everyone thinking I'm suspicious. So I don't really care. I'm a villager. Maybe with my luck, I'm also a lichen, but I don't know. I, it happens to me all the time. And I try to be more vocal. Then Flick attacked me. I've tried to say nothing. Then she attacks me. It just happens. So, 
go ahead and kill me. I don't really care. None, no one has at any point asked me if I was a werewolf or asked me if I was a murderer. You've just been talking around me. All righty. Any questions? Got a minute for questions. Are you a werewolf? No. Are you a werewolf? Yeah. What? Are you, you a villager? Suspicious? What? Are you a it's villager? Sorry. I'm claiming plain villager. Who are you suspicious of? I was suspicious of, of Graham, but not anymore. And I was of Andreas, but you just cleared him. So I don't know. Do you have a favorite sandwich? Yeah. I I really like a, a ham and cheese sandwich. Very plain, just like a villager. So she might be right. <laughs> All right. Uh, no more questions. So we need five to kill. One, two, three. Oh, I counted correctly, nine. So we need five to kill. Three, two. Bro, are you voting for yourself? <laughs> All right, it's unanimous. All right, y'all bring uh, Grow down to the gallows. And you want to just, you know, tie her up to a stake. And, you know, Elliot's been taking archery lessons lately, so he grabbed his silver tipped arrow and shoot her right in, tried to shoot her right in the heart. And your aim is true, and she's trying to turn into a filthy werewolf. Thank you, everybody. Uh, before everybody goes to sleep, make sure you check your messages. I may have sent you something. Uh, Flick, come back. You're back from Universal Studios. Alrighty. Let's get uh old hag to wake up. What do you want to do? All right, the person that sent the message to, you're asking to use your power. I got your message, thank you. Uh, Let me get my wolves to wake up. Who do y'all wanna munch on tonight? I think it was go to sleep. Leprechaun, leprechaun, wake on up. You leprechaun, know, go to sleep. All bear, wake on up. Okay, Paul Bear goes to sleep. My seer, my seer, wake on up. Thank you, seer, go to sleep. 
Sorceress wake on up. Thank you, Sorceress. Go to sleep. And Undertaker wake on up. Alrighty. All right, let me tell you what happened last night. Hear her screams all over the village. All over the village. Everybody wakes up with, like, stuff in their eyes. See a bunch of blood in the streets. Blake and Alice were found dead in the middle of the streets, torn to pieces. Thank you, Blake and Alice, for playing. Yeah, figured, figured it might be in Wolf Club. She might be in the Wolf Club. Yeah. Okay. But okay. if you want my information before we do that, yeah. Chris yeah. is on our team as well. Okay. okay, so Chris, and then who else Who else is cleared? I am one to... And if we can pause... And if we can pause there, I think that's all I formally checked, but what I would say is I think the night where Flick was sent out, there's the possibility a curse turned. So I know I that's the night I checked Andreas. I checked Chris since then, but for me, I, everything else is a little up in the yeah. air. I'm still kind of suspicious on Flick. I'm. It's I'm Flick, Andreas, or Graham. We could target Josh because I mean, yeah. I'm willing. I'm yeah, willing. Josh could have been turned. Okay, I am more than happy if Elliot wants to check, but it is going to be a wasted check. I'm probably killed tonight. I mean, the old hag, if they're still sure. around, can so, send me out because at least that stops the werewolf doing a kill. Yeah, if we go for Josh, it's we don't get you don't get any information. Yeah, I think I think Josh is I think Josh is the sorceress potentially. Or he was okay. cursed and turned. Yeah. So we could target Josh, get rid of Josh, mm -hmm. see what happens the next day. I am um, I'm of the opinion that we probably have, if there's one that's turned, we probably have two werewolves left. And I think that's probably because it was maybe weighted in such a way because the Undertaker's got a lot of a lot of power, can absorb a lot of things. So I suspect there's two somewhere in here. Um, someone isn't, the isn't the Wolverine so you old that, hag. we haven't heard the dying sound with any of them? We, we, not heard, we, haven't, heard the, we haven't heard the dying sound. Sorry, but, um, of the, of the Wolverine normally, when the Wolverine dies, it gives like the dying sound as well. Jugan, can you confirm that? If the Wolverine died, would you make that sound if the Wolverine died or not? No, I didn't think you would. Okay, if this is the other game, so that's why. Operating on a false Elliot system. said something. I did it last Blake, game, so I didn't get a chance tag. to do it a lot because you killed the Wolverine first, so that's why I did it last game. Oh, fair, okay. So I, I will say this I don't like roll reveals, but you're hot. Yeah, we thought you'd all. I, I mean, the fact that no one yesterday was willing, and by the time we're down to seven people, yeah. I think it is everything's <laughs> fair game. Yeah, I think I think you should come out, but I think you are that flick. Would you confirm Sorry. that you are that? Um, I think uh, that's where you uh, can Josh. I'm definitely the village team, definitely not a werewolf, and uh, I am of use to Elliot, but I'm not sure if I agree on the logic, but I have helped Elliot previous nights. Do we think that there's um, a wolf man in the game? I don't think that's on the list, is it? It's on, it's on the list. It's a possibility. Um, my hmm. my feeling yeah. is... Andreas, I am Josh. I, I know I did go for Sorceress, but my feeling is Josh could yeah. just as easily be so cast if we, go, if we kill Josh tonight, today, sorry, if we kill Josh today, and then see what... If there's a wolf man, then it could be any of Graham, Chris, Andreas. If it's not a wolf man, I'm left with it being Graham. So doesn't even matter. Like I don't. It, even if I'm a lichen, if you check me and I'm a werewolf, I'm still cleared because I was targeted by werewolves and yeah, me too. moved it. So I wasn't. Yeah. So that. Andreas would even be the only person. I'm not a. Like, Andreas. Of, of, of course. Sorry, I forgot about Chris, that. So. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think we kill. I think we kill Josh, and if it still goes on, one of Chris and Andreas is a wolf man. Okay. Right, yeah, so I'll I nominate know. Josh. We got one for Josh. We got a second. Second did. All right. All right. You can uh, give your reasoning. Official ones. I, I, I Josh it has been sort of targeted. We 
he's probably cursed or sorceress, but probably cursed. So if we kill him off, then we'll see what happens the next day. If, if we, because if we survive, then it'll probably have Andreas or me. So that's my nomination. All right, Elliot. Yeah, similar thinking. And my thoughts are with seven today. I think my my gut feel says Josh is cursed rather than sorceress. And we've got enough time to kill both Chris and Andreas. So unless you think one of Gray and Flick or Eddie has got some different th thing going on and was really gutsy, and I believe Eddie's, does it still is an early claim? I, I was uh, I, I was I was I was I was also cleared by um, Blake as well because I. All right, I only wanted nominations for Josh, but we're not getting them anymore. So, uh, Josh, go and defend yourself. Well, I might as well come out. You all's first instinct was that I was a sorcerer. You called it. Um, there's no point in denying that anymore. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> and with knowing that Elliot's the seer so early on, there was no point in me doing anything at night. So, um, I mean, this is what I know. Chris is good. Uh, Andreas is good. Elliot's obviously good. I would be, I mean, I'm on the evil team, so I'm not going to say anything else. You go ahead and kill me. Unless you're worried about numbers. All right, you got a minute 15 for questions, if you want to ask them. What do you mean by Andreas and Chris are good? Well, Chris was uh, confirmed by Elliot, wasn't he? Yeah. Do you not yeah, think there's a wolf man in the game? I mean, there could be, but I'm going by what, uh, what you've done. And Chris is fine because I can read Chris. <laughs> And I don't want to necessarily get up. Clarify, Jugen, the, the sorceress doesn't actually wake up with the werewolves, right? No, so the sorceress know. doesn't know the wolves. Nope. That's the problem. Um, I mean, in, even if the sorceress doesn't technically count for me. All right, I was asking for questions for the defendant. I'm not getting any more, so we're just going to go straight into voting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need four to kill. Three, two. Yeah, four to kill, right? I just I had another question if it's not too late. All right, ask a question. I just wanted to clarify on your you need the numbers. Would you agree that it makes sense to keep you alive and just ignore everything you say for the rest of the game? I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> All right. That's the last question. Need four to kill. Three, two, one. Eh, that's enough. So you bring Josh down to the gallows. And I don't know. How do you want to die, Josh? Mauled by cats. <laughs> All right. For some reason, y'all create a pit of vicious cats. You throw them in there. <laughs> Instead of turning into Catwoman, Josh just really dies. So I try and transform into a werewolf. And you give yourself a wolf. All right, getting really low. Let's uh, can't be that many wolves left, is it? Let me get my old hat to wake up. Do you want to send out of the village? Or anything you all had to go to sleep. Let me get my wolves to wake up. My wolves wake on up. <coughs> you want to kill? You wolves go to sleep.
Uh, my leprechaun, wake on up. This was the target. You look proud to sleep. Paul Barrow, wake on up. Paul Barrow, go to sleep. My seer, wake on up. Seer, go to sleep. Sorceress, wake on up. Sorceress, go to sleep. And last but not least, my Undertaker, wake on up. <laughs> Elliot! You heard such good things about, you know, uh, Universal Studios from Flick. You decided to go, you know? You wanted to go check it out for yourself. See you back tonight. And Eddie... You were went out to clip firewood and you're a mall by the wolves. Thank you, Eddie, for playing. So we have a choice now of Andreas or Chris. I'm leaning to Andreas. Or it could be Graham. That's definitely not me. No, I don't, I don't think it's Graham. Uh, There's something about the way Graham's playing. Why did you vote up, Graham? Because I thought it made sense for numbers to keep the sorceress alive. We we need villagers to be alive to win. But, he can, it, but we've, we all came to the conclusion he was cursed, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, I I was under the impression he was the sorceress. I actually believed him, but. No, but you could be a sorceress and cursed. Mm, no, because the werewolves can't kill you if you're the sorceress, so you wouldn't ever turn. But he could just also bluff, so we keep him alive as a werewolf. True. Until the end. That's right. So I think the conclusion was that we think he was cursed. Okay. So that's an all. But, but on the other hand, I'm because like Blake said, you were, were cleared earlier, and I believe that we believe that Blake is there. I think it's rather weird that Chris tries to throw you under the bus with that. Because you said it like twice now that you have been cleared, and he said that. So I lean towards Chris. Chris. Just generally asking a question about this. You haven't done anything to prove you're a villager to me. Who, me? No, I'm talking about Andreas. At the start, I, I was trying to get the, um, what was it called? The count out. I was pointing out if you're cursed and know it. So I did a lot of things that would be highly risky as a wolf. Yeah. At the but very start of the game, before sense. everything like went down with having like three wolf in the open already. And from them, I just kept voting correctly. And also on the first people, I think I did nothing that made me like suspicious. And I tried to help the village as much as I could at the start. I, I feel like we're ignoring the whole lone wolf thing from earlier. About Flick. Well, yeah. if there was a lone wolf, the lone wolf would have won. Unless there was no, the lone wolf only wins when the um, werewolf. No, thing. no, because you you still need the werewolf win condition. Yeah. So right yes. now you're one of four. The lone okay. wolf needs to be I, one I, on one. I had the lone wolf was always the situation of where someone was the last wolf standing. And we're also the wolf one win wolf condition. in my like I believe we are down to one wolf. I think we are throwing uh, in my direction to distract from the fact that we have one wolf. So here's the thing. Tomorrow, Elliot is going to be back. So what? That would, if we kill someone today, there's still four of us. A lone wolf is still not necessarily going to be in a win condition then. I think we should focus on finding who we think is the werewolf. And if you want to kill me tomorrow, that's fine when Elliot's back. Yeah, okay. I agree. But I think we should go for Chris. I don't me. agree on that. I think Andreas. Because he went after Graham, even though Graham was like twice. No, no. I think that's just a convenient. I think play. we're going to get a two-two split, but I'll nominate Chris. I got one for Chris. 
a second? Do we need second with four people? No, you're right. You're right. My bad. So, uh, Chris, you've been nominated by Graham. Graham, what's your reasoning? I mean, I was relying on Josh's read on Chris, and I don't know that that was necessarily reliable. Maybe it depends with whether it was before or after he was uh, turned, but... Yeah. All righty. Uh, Chris, your defense, please. I am a villager. I Elliot checked me literally last night, and I was a villager. So, Andreas, he checked earlier, and then there was a no kill after between after Andreas was checked. So Andreas could have turned. No, because it was. Joshua was targeted at the night. Okay. So is that your defense there, Chris? Yeah. Right. Um, you can ask questions now. Uh, if if the remaining people have all been checked and confirmed villagers, isn't it safe to assume that there's a wolfman in the game? I, I would guess that it would be a wolfman, yes. And obviously I'm going to say Andreas. Andreas is going to say me. I mean going to end up in a... Okay. Well, I, I think we want to kill you both. Oh, it's a really, really high brain game, game from Elliot there. Yeah. So if I mean, you do kill me, man, if you do the kill me, Elliot make sure you kill Andreas. Andreas. Sure. Because I, mean, I am just a villager, so if, if, if I die, it don't make any difference apart from numbers, but if you do kill me, kill Andreas. Alrighty. No more uh, questions? All right. We're voting on Chris. We need three to kill. One, two, three. It's a split. Still alive. I think we might as well go to sleep because we're not going to argue logic with Flick. No, I think we should just vote on Andreas. Um, I think. If Chris has been checked by Elliot, we'll find out tomorrow. He, but I think Andreas. Chris well. and Andreas have been checked by Elliot. They were both confirmed as villagers. So yeah. one of them. Yeah, that wolf. doesn't necessarily mean anything if someone's turned, though. But we, we know who was targeted at night. No, so we, we assume that someone was targeted. We're still here, which means there's still a werewolf left. But with the turn, when we had no kill, we know who was targeted on the no kills. Exactly. Blake told us. Yeah. There's still a werewolf left because we're still here. Mm -hmm. Andreas gone to Chris. Andreas, I think I'm, Chris is a villager. I think Chris. I'm I willing think to go down on Chris. Andreas. So if, if you and I aren't willing to agree, we don't need to waste another four minutes of daytime. We can go to sleep and let the werewolf get another kill. You're literally going to give a werewolf another kill. You are, if you don't want to vote down on Chris. Yeah. Yes. No, no, I, I'm fairly, fairly certain Chris is most likely a villager. And I'm okay. really weirded out by this whole insistence that we don't even look at Andreas or ask Andreas to do a defense. Uh, okay. Because we made Chris do it. Why aren't we doing if if we're going to do a draw, why don't we make Andreas do it? And while we're at it, we have a third nomination. If we agree not to kill anyone, why don't we also ask you to do it, Graham? Sure, nominate me. We're just wasting time here. Okay, can, can I, I nominate no vote, no kill, and we can go to sleep? So we're not going to actually ask any questions of anyone. We're going to waste okay. our time. That, uh, that was my nomination. Yeah. All right, all right. So nominating for no kill, up to no kill, down, you still want to do a kill. Three, two, it has to be unanimous. Three, two, one. It wasn't going to be an anyway. No kidding. I'll nominate Andreas. I second. You don't need a second. All right. What's your defense? I mean, what's your reasoning? I well, I've got. I've, I've had to give my defense. I'm going to let Andreas give his defense now. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's like keep against me or like whatever weird thing Flick is doing, but. He said multiple things that's not going according to the game with uh, 
I might be turned, but obviously someone else was targeted. He went after Graham, who was also cleared. Um, so I think he brought like a few signs that make it very suspicious. Um, so I think we should kill Chris. And if he's not the one, then we still have like enough time. Or we can go to sleep, which also makes no difference as well. Because we get like one more kill about. All right, are you opening up for questions? Is there any questions for the defendant? All right. We're voting on Andreas's life. Still need three to kill. Three, two, one. It's time. Got one more. Oh, no. You did a nomination for. Andreas, no. nominate Chris. I nominate Chris. I second. Nope, oh, y'all go to sleep. You wish one of your nominations for an, for a no kill. Oh. Alrighty. Thank you, Elliot. Welcome back. Hope you had a fun time at your amusement park. All right, first off, first off, let me get my old hat to wake up. You want to send somebody out tonight? And get my wolves to wake up. All right, I think you wolves go to sleep. Let me get my leprechaun to wake up. Person was targeted. I think leprechaun go to sleep. Paul Bear wake on up. I think Paul Bear go to sleep. My seer wake on up. Seer. You can see her go to sleep. My sorceress wake on up. You can sorceress go to sleep. And last but not least, my undertaker wake on up. Can't take her to sleep. Chris, all this talk about Universal Studios, you really wanted to uh, go there, you know, because you hear so much great reviews. You decided to go to Disneyland instead. I think you'd be back tonight. Okay, I've got a theory. Hold on, hold on Elliot. I'm sorry. Will you let me finish my night? Jeez. And there was no kill last night. I've got a theory. Chris Wolfman, Graham Sorceress. We'll get a kill tonight, so and then there'll be, Game would um, be over. four people left tomorrow, so we need Graham dead. I think, Elliot, you need to check and dry us. I did. No, did. Came no, down. no, no, I, 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 like, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Like, maybe I've missed something somewhere in the rules, but like, I, I, I just don't trust Andreas. So he was Andreas, the one you were trying to kill yesterday. I thought we nominated you Chris oh, yesterday. Voting oh, dying. Yeah, no, no, I, I think there's something up with Andreas, and I think they went after Chris for some reason. And I think it was to distract. And I thought it was very strange that Graham also backed oh. Andreas. I, I think Chris is your last werewolf and you didn't get a kill because you sent him out of the village. Yeah. Because I, would have, have I would have been the obvious target because I was the one person the hag couldn't send out. Yeah. 
and also I'm probably the most confirmed villager. So if you're looking for someone who you don't want in the last three, it was definitely me. Yeah. I, so I, I think Chris is Wolfman, and I think Graham is Sorceress, which is why Graham wouldn't agree to kill anyone apart from. Um, that's why Graham wouldn't agree to kill Chris, and was, would rather go to sleep rather than let us kill Chris. Because normally, uh, if you know it's one of those two, you kill one, you 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 agree to kill the other one, and then you sort of kill, kill the other Graham one the next day. Up. You know that's going to be the next day. I think Graham's sorceress. Okay. Graham was voting to kill Chris. Yeah. So I got thing like. Yeah, you're 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 not right on this. Graham was voting to kill Chris. It was split. Andreas and Graham wanted to kill Chris. Oh, sorry, I, I, me I meant Andreas is wolf. Yeah. Yeah, Andreas is the wolf. Why would I be the wolf and there was no kill and you sent Chris out? You must have targeted Graham or Chris. Or Chris. You, you, you need to Why would there be no kill if I attack Graham? This is an interesting point. I mean, as long as the Hague keeps sending people out, um, let, let's go with Elliot's theory that there is a sorceress and a wolf still left, then there won't be a vote to kill a non- there, there won't be a vote for the rest of the game to actually kill but, a world. But the wolf can kill at night, so I suppose you... Exactly. If, so if, the if, only okay, way so if we're saying Andreas is the wolf, the sorry, I got Chris and Andreas the wrong way around. You have to send yeah. Andreas out tonight, because otherwise the otherwise a villager dies and the bad team has a majority in the village. Sorry, you want Andreas sent out, even though Andreas... Well, I, yeah, I, I don't think Graham will let us kill Andreas. I don't think Andreas will let us kill Graham. Um, I, so I, I just think don't, I just don't to... get, get yeah, the I'm story about it. If I, if I would be the werewolf, why should I either target Graham, who's like the one who was on my side yesterday, or the guy who's literally a 50-50 with me on, on the chopping block? So it makes no sense that I'm the wolf. Someone come up with a better theory then. Quick. I'm not even sure I, I, I follow like where where Elliot is going with this, because Elliot mixed up Andreas and... and... Sorry, I, I just got those two names the wrong way around with my when I look back at, at my notes there it's but if it's not a wolf man and sorceress situation I mean the way I look at it is we've got to have a hag in here we know someone was sent out um and I strongly think that's flick nope it's me why yeah, didn't you say anything any either. earlier at any point because I, I wanted to see if flick would it's definitely uh, not you, Graham, because like that would make no sense. At the would point it? where Flick half claimed no Hag, you you should have d denied it. Then I think you're the sorceress. No, I I really just wanted to claim Hag so that Flick would be forced to claim a role. No, I'm saying Flick it makes no sense. You opposed to it. Have but... no evidence to back it up. You're just claiming it, but you're not saying. I'm, you I'm claiming it because oh, everybody oh, no, knows okay. you're the Hag, even though you don't you want to say you're the Hag. It. I would like to know who you sent out every I... single night from the start. Because Whoever you wrote we down on your has sheet. Watched for a oh a minute, okay, I'm claiming the hag for Flick. Moving on. Okay, so, you're saying so, that so going Flick through my logic, Chris, and you send Chris out. Yeah. So she gets me voted out. Flick, you agree? I, I'm sure you agree. Your hag, um, or at least that you're happy for me to work on that assumption. If we work on my assumption that Graham is sorceress and Andreas is wolf, and that's why Graham wouldn't let you kill Andreas under any circumstances yesterday then that means the only reason there wasn't a kill, I can't tell you why Andreas did it rather than kill me as the one person who couldn't be protected, but the only, um, the only, um, if you're saying the, I'm a tech uh, the only the play I can see is that tonight you send out Andreas because you can't send out Chris. So if Chris is the wolf, a villager dies anyway, and we're in big trouble. So you send out Andreas, no one dies. And then tomorrow the village will have a three to one majority and can kill Graham, and then Andreas kills a villager in the last day we kill Andreas. Okay, I think, I think oh. I'm following. So obviously Andreas is sent out, Graham can't kill anyone, then we have Chris back the next day, it's three against two. It's three against one because, oh, we get because kill Andreas tonight, is sent because out, and that's when we get the majority of the votes in the village. Sorry, Andreas was speaking over you so that I wouldn't be able to follow what you were saying there, do you mind repeating? And Andreas, would you allow him to speak? 
Re- relax a little. He, he, that wasn't yeah. why he was. He, he, we no, jumped at the same time. Like I'm some sort of lone wolf, which I'm he, not. Which is a desperate act of a werewolf. I I don't blame him given all the work Connor did to make you look like a werewolf. <laughs> let's, let's be fair. It's, this game's all about lying. Um, but yeah, I am saying that. Um, yeah, if if Andre um, if Andreas is the wolf, the only way we don't get a wolf kill is if Andreas is sent out. Okay. Because uh, um, and that that would then give us a three to one majority tomorrow in the village. We could kill Graham, who I think is the sorceress. A villager would then die, but the last day you've still got two villagers and Andreas your wolf man. Okay. Yeah, I follow. I follow. Um. And because otherwise, I don't. Graham's a good player. I don't see why Graham was so insistent. It had to be Chris and not Andreas. I think normally he would go, "Okay, we'll kill Chris. To, uh, we'll kill and, um, Andreas today, and if I'm wrong, we'll kill Chris tomorrow." That's what he would have done if he's not the sorceress. So I yep. think he's the sorceress. I don't know how he knows it's Andreas rather than Chris, but I think he's got some bit of information that makes him think that. Okay. Am yeah, I now no. allowed to speak flick? No, you, you can speak now. It's just when we speak over each other, nobody can hear what anyone's saying. Your turn. Thank you. Again, I don't think it makes any sense that I would have targeted Chris. And that's why we have a no kill. Because he had a 50-50 situation on me for the last three days. So the only thing that makes sense is that Graham is, in fact, the hack. Flick attacked Chris to get him free. So Most I'm the only one to, the target. to get on. Normally Andreas. I got one for Andreas. I mean, we can at least wait until Graham is back, I think. We don't need seconds. No, we don't. I give a thumbs up for whatever. All right. We have a nomination for Andreas. Elliot, what's your reasoning? I mean, the fact that Graham just said, I give a thumbs up for whatever, it very much makes it sound like he doesn't want to a kill um and i yeah and we're just really running short of time um all right is that your yeah, reason next, next nomination make it graham all right give your defense andreas just as we said before i don't see any sense in me being the wolf um because i wouldn't have targeted chris uh, the only reason I can see there was a no kill is Flick was attacking Chris, and he was sent out by Graham, and that's why there was no kill. Because if I'm the only one left in the village, then it's easy to vote me out. But honestly, I don't know why I would do that, and I don't follow why Graham has to vote me out yesterday. If he's convinced it was Chris. I'm not convinced it's Chris anymore. I think it's Flick, but yeah. You give her, you give her a kill, Elliot, with not doing anything. I'm happy for questions. Yeah, I checked Flick last night and got a no. Does that ruin your lone wolf theory? And she might not be the lone wolf. She might she won't be the wolfman. I don't know. Again, I didn't target Chris, so no idea. Alrighty. I uh, have no more questions, hearing no more anyway, so uh, we're voting. Need three to kill. Three, two, one. Not enough. 10 seconds. Nominating Graham. Uh, what's your reasoning, Flick? Elliot said he wanted to hear more. I also wanted to hear more. I'm very suspicious of the fact that it's two up, two down. I think Elliot might be on something when it comes to the sorcerer. So I want to hear more. In the interest of time, I waive my right to a defense and move to vote. All right. As I said before, three down the kill. Three, two, one. At two seconds. Oh, go to sleep. 
All right, Chris, welcome back to the party. You had fun at, you know, Disneyland. You got to, you know, see all the new Star Wars stuff. You got to go see Grogu, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. You loved it. You had a great time. All right, old hag, who you want to send out of the village tonight? Go ahead, go to sleep. Let me get my wolves to wake up. Alrighty, and make your wolves go to sleep. Leprechaun, wake on up. This person was targeted. Thank you, Leprechaun, go to sleep. All bear, wake on up. Thank you, go to sleep. My seer, wake on up. You can see her go to sleep. Get my source just to wake up. You source just go to sleep. And last but not least, Undertaker, wake on up. Undertaker, you can wave at everybody. You just won the game. Just kidding. Andreas, I heard this talk about theme cards, but you don't like any of them, any of them. So you decided to go to Six Flags, which is happening to be in Guamiville. So you get to see all these crazy bots there. There, thank you, Andreas. You can come back tonight. And Elliot, Chris, Flake, Graham, y'all go down to the morning, eat happily for breakfast after you saw Andreas went to go to the theme park. There was no kill last night. Okay, I checked Jugan and got a thumbs up, but he was laughing at the time. <laughs> um, I, if my theory is wrong, I've got nothing better, and we should have lost it about three times already. So I nominate Graham. I got one for Graham. Doesn't need, we don't a need seconds. You said. Yeah, I know. What's your reasoning, Elliot? Um, I spoke about her length yesterday. Alrighty. I'm giving your defense. I, I mean, I'm genuinely surprised the game hasn't ended because I felt either Chris or Andreas was a werewolf and they've both been out of the village and we're still going. So one of you three is a werewolf, which is fascinating to me, but I'm not. Uh, you can kill me. I'm going to die anyway. That's fine. Any questions for... The defendant. If you are the hag, why did you wait so long? That's the thing that's... Didn't say it was the hag. Not a werewolf. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. All right, I need three votes to kill Graham. Three, a two, and a one. That's enough. You drag Graham down to gallows. Graham, how do you want to die? Indifferent. So you decide to exile Graham. He walks out of the village, giving the middle finger because he's so very upset. You exile the villager. Andreas, welcome back from your trip. Hope it was a great trip. Alrighty. Let's see if this thing's over. Let me get my old hat to wake up. Who you want to send out? Thank you. 
Let me get my wolves to wake up. You want to kill? You will go to sleep. Let me get my leprechaun to wake up. This person was targeted. I think leprechaun go to sleep. Paul Bear wake on up. I think Paul Bear go to sleep. My seer wake on up. Here you go to sleep. Sorceress, wake on up. Sorceress, go to sleep. Undertaker, wake on up. Thank you, Undertaker. Go to sleep. All right, this village is getting super small. Again, y'all decided to come to my breakfast. Chris, Flick, and Andres, you come down to have breakfast. I realized Elliot didn't join you, so going back and checking Elliot. Elliot was ripped to shreds. Well, I think it's fairly obvious what we as a village have to do, but, you know, other people may differ on that. I don't know. I only know that both... Chris and I were sent out and the game didn't end and we don't have like two wolves because the game would have ended now. Yep. We didn't have anyone else sent out now after Graham died. He claimed old hag. So I think we go for Flick. She's yeah, the only one who was all the time in the village. When because we needed we someone. Well, I asked Graham if he was old hag and he said no. That last time. And he actually yeah. said he, was, he didn't say he was old Even hag. Even if he was sent off, we were both sent out of the village and the game didn't end. You, well, so, you have to kill all the werewolves. Isn't that right, Jugan? You have to kill all the werewolves, not send yeah, them out. You have to kill all the werewolves. And here's the thing. Elliot said for Andreas to be sent out. There wasn't really much point sending someone out um, when it came to this, because like, if someone gets killed, it proves that there's still a werewolf here. But also, was it there were still going to be two against one when it came to the werewolf? It's a 50-50 for the werewolf win. Which means Andreas is still outnumbered by me and Chris. Andreas is the werewolf. Kill Andreas. No, I think it's Flick. Yeah, I feel like that's the last desperate throw of a werewolf. You've been trying to cast shade. I told you why you were sent out of the village. I also know why Balaz was sent out. I also know why Josh was sent out. I know why lots of people were sent out. You don't. So, you know, desperate last cry of a werewolf there. Oh, also, I've been quite good at the werewolves this game, which is probably why the werewolves keep trying to redirect attention to me. Well, I think it points to her. We were out two kills not in a row. I didn't attack you, Chris. I wouldn't have done that as a wolf. She probably would have done. I don't know why that happened, but we were both out. She was in. I don't see how I am the wolf. I think then you might be the only one who doesn't see how you're a wolf. Mm. No. I think that's like, I think she said now just going very angry because she's like close before and just tries to Use that, put me out, win the game. That's what it is. No, I think it's more just because we've got to this point and like you survived repeatedly, which is really good for a wolf, but it's also very frustrating because you should have been out of the game long before now. Well, I think it's, it's like. Have you any other reasons other than just you think? 
because I have plenty of ideas as to why. Yeah, to, 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 multiple it times. It wasn't me. Point. And Chris was sent out. He wasn't there last time. There wasn't a kill. I think it's it points to you it, from from the start. I mean, I have would have had to have played the last three days like completely terrible. You were on like with with Elliot on Graham being like the sorceress, which he wasn't. He was no, a villager. He obviously could see the same reasoning well, I could see. Sorceress as a villager. Sharp as a villager yeah. Yeah. I said, That's I the said thing. Elliot's logic had some validity to it, and going by Elliot's logic, we would still end up in a position where the single werewolf would be outnumbered, and we could either prove or disprove whether or not someone was a sorcerer because the sorcerer is on the werewolf team. That is why I followed that logic, and that is where it has got us. And it has got us to the point where you're the werewolf. I don't see how that points to me with the happenings of the last two days. Care to elaborate because like you're not, I, I have provided- There's no reason, as I told you, there's no reason in the world I should have targeted Chris when there was no kill because he was sent out by you. So why should I have done that? Well, if there's no kill and Chris has been sent out, Looks like Chris might have been targeted. I'm not aware that werewolves can't choose to not kill. Yeah, but if you say, I'm the wolf, why should I have targeted him? Whereas for you, if you have to target him and he's dead, then I'm like the last obvious target because okay. everything points yeah. to me. Graham one minute is left. asking you, Otherwise, werewolves will win. You, you're throwing shade at me to say that I'm another werewolf. The only other person who you might want to eat would be Chris. Because once you've eaten Chris, you can then be all like, oh, look, it must be that person. And you and Graham would be able to vote against me. Oh, yeah, as I said, Graham was on the village team. He was not any sorcerer yeah, or anything. With you. Graham also, nah, I nominate Flick. I got one for Flick. What's your reasoning? I mean, My I reasoning is so. on... On the day that Chris was going out of the village, we didn't have a kill. If I would have targeted him, it would have been the worst move because before, as you remember, we had like two votes. It was a 50-50 between Chris and myself. It makes a lot of sense for Flick to target Chris. So the only one with suspicions on, on him is left as me because she had like Elliot in her pocket. He was arguing with her the whole time. So now Elliot is, is dead. We're here where we are. But the only reason that Chris would have been targeted was Flick getting me securely out. If I attack Chris, I'd kill the one person who was in a 50-50 with me. I st stand alone against Elliot and Flick and Graham. I, I wouldn't have done that. Whereas Flick had the greatest opportunity then to get me out because she had like half the vision already. All right, we get the gist. <laughs> All right. Uh, Flick, go ahead and defend yourself. So I've already explained why I sent Chris out of the village. Elliot would have come back the next day. It still would have been a 50-50 split, but if you'd killed Chris, that takes away the advantage potentially of the village because we thought that Graham was a sorcerer because we needed Chris to be alive as a third vote for the village, three for two. It's that simple. You're doing this because you're a werewolf. All right, any questions? Would you think it would have been the better option for me in that case to kill Elliot, who knew was against me, and also get the numbers down, but still keep Chris in the game, who has just as much uh, suspicion as I have? Chris didn't have as much suspicion in my book, so we'd have still been tied in a 50-50. And also, don't you think it would be the reason more reasonable kill, because Elliot was the only one that Otak couldn't send out that night? So I would have rather either killed oh, the oh, one so with suspicion knowledge, or... Oh, so you acknowledge yeah. Elliot couldn't have been sent out that night. Right, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. You basically explained why Elliot wasn't sent out. Thanks. Well, that wasn't the point. The point was no, 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 I should no, no, have no, killed him. That. You walked right in there and you dug the hole. Any more questions? So you're saying I attacked Chris 
who I knew was like the only one who could have sent, been sent out. And so then, you're not asking questions right now. You're, you're just hypothesizing after you dug a hole. Yeah, I just don't get the, I walked into this thing because that was never Kinda the point. Kind of did. All right, Chris, do you have any questions for the defendant since you're only one to get it to say anything? Nope. All right. All right, we're voting on Flit's life. Need two votes to kill. Three, two, one. Still left. I'd like to nominate Andreas. What's your reasoning? Oh, I have tons of reasoning. I think the whole back and forth between me and Andreas previously is enough reason there. But like, I I am pretty sure. So basically, what's your official right. reasoning? Um, lots of different things. I'm also following um Elliot's logic from the start. He was wrong, possibly about the sorcerer, but I I, I think Elliot was right in regards to Andreas being a werewolf. I also think Andreas is probably a werewolf. Andreas is quite a bit strange in the game, just small things. But mostly, I'm going off Elliot. All right. Andreas, here's your defense. I um, mean, we have talked about most of it. Um, I think the last point of her was just like deferring with me running into why Elliot wasn't sent out. That was never the question. Um, nobody cares why he wants, wasn't sent out or not. Um, it was all about why would have the one who's going out, Chris, would have been targeted. And the only reason that makes sense is Flick targeting him. So leave me as the last person to to stand there and die. It doesn't make any sense for me to target him, not to kill the last 50-50 and not knowing that there is a person with Elliot who has just as much word who can who I can kill because I know he couldn't have been sent out. Um, and just for Chris as well, if we don't vote me out now, we still have a nomination to get Flick out. And I think that's the way we go. Otherwise, uh, the village loses. All right, you have any questions for Andreas? No questions. As you can see, we get the green light from Yugen as well. Oh, oh what? Yeah, you're very green on your screen. Oh, am I? Yeah. Not on my side. Hmm. You're hulking out. I don't know. It's not, it's not green for me, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to see me anyway. All righty. So we're voting on Andreas's life. We need two to kill. Three, two, one. All right. You bring Andreas down to the gallows. You want to burn him alive. He morphs into a werewolf. You killed yourself a werewolf. Everybody go to sleep. All right, this is Kane. I sent the village to find the Undertaker, but y'all killed him like day two, so I'm very upset about that. But you did manage to kill all the werewolves, the village team wins. Oh, that was hot. That was hard. <laughs> all right, before everybody starts talking, let me give a debrief. That was a really good game, actually. Even though I created this game just to test out my roles they died like the first two guests i was very upset about it adam was the pallbearer chris was a villager blaz was a villager elliot was a seer lick was the old hag andreas was the wolf man strawberry was a villager but unknown lichen graham was a sorceress paul was the undertaker uh, alice was the beholder bro was the wolf cub Sean was uh, unknown liking. She's, he was a villager, but he was a liking. Uh, Eddie was a diseased. Ned was the priest, which saved Leprechaun like night two, because Leprechaun would have died. Uh, Blake was a Leprechaun. Joseph was a villager, didn't know he's a curse. He got targeted, turned to a werewolf. Uh, Jer Gary Gary uh, was the Wolverine. Connor, Jenny, Jenny sorry. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Connor was the tough wolf. Um, and that you killed the disease that night, Andreas. That's why you looked at me like, what? But uh, they killed, y'all killed the disease the night before. That's why you didn't get a kill that night. 
you ask. I'm like, when I said no kills. But, turned out to be a pretty good game, but uh, I really wanted to test out the Undertaker role. I really didn't get a chance to. <laughs> so I definitely be, I'll definitely be running this again. Talk about yourself. Oh, and it was a good game. <laughs> I mean, very tough at the end. I was like, I mean, it's hard to work out who to actually believe. Yeah, you're well, sweating a play. lot. <laughs> I think Ned is the unsung MVP there, saving uh, Blake. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that did help the village so much. It was second night, I think we nominated Blake, was it? Yep, night two. I was going to yeah. die. Yeah. <sighs> I was and like, I, and I predicted. Protecting that night because I thought I was going to die. Yeah, but, I saw the message from Ned. I was like, unless uh, <laughs> unless uh, old hat sends you out, it's going to work. <laughs> flick, flick, you nearly lost. You, you, we, we were, you, nearly, you, you nearly ran out of time. You literally had about 10 seconds. You weren't nominated. You just I was, I, that's why I was sort of nominated. thinking about the top. I didn't want to nominate because I was like, I can't. <laughs> I was like, let's just keep talking. It would have been so funny. I mean, obviously, I was a villain. I wanted villain just to win, but it, I would have, it would have been funny to see the time right now. Flick, man, you standing your ground against Graham and Andreas going going at you was super impressive to me. Like, you had your mind made up, and you just stuck with it. You were not getting bullied out of that at all, which was really yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing that swayed it was when Graham... What, so when I asked him if he was up, why he didn't claim old hag, and he, he sort of said, I didn't. It was like, well, hang on. He didn't <laughs> yeah, claim old hag. <laughs> if I had believed there was a chance that I could still convince somebody I was the old hag, I, I mean, yeah. there was no question in anyone's mind that it was Flick, except, I guess, yours. Um, well, yeah. I had a slight niggle, but I, mean, I, was, I was about sort of 95% certain it was Flick. It was that 5%. <laughs> Standing at the crossroads between a life.